Stephanie Sanders. And I want to personally thank you for tuning into tonight's stream on the Cover Coffee Games channel. But you all know why I'm here. Yes, that's right. I am once again asking for your financial support. As you are very well aware, there are no exterior sponsorships, including ones from the top one-tenth of one percent, on the Kamikaze Games channel. All profits are made entirely from viewers such as yourself. In the chat of every video, which would be on this side of the screen, you can send super chat to Kamikaze Games, should you please. Also, in the com in the description of every video, there is a link to Streamlabs, where you can send direct contributions to the Kamikaze Games channel without giving YouTube a cut. There's also other options, such as YouTube memberships, which give you many benefits, including, but not limited to, emoji that you can use once again in the chat on this side of the screen. But if that's not enough for you viewers, I understand in this growing and changing world, there may be other ways that you would like to contribute to the Kamikaze Games channel, and that is where I send you over to the Kamikaze Games Spring Store, which is also in the description of every video and has a page on the Kamikaze Games YouTube channel in the when you select the videos. So Member, please become a member. Member, please become a member. Member, please become a member. Member, 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 member. Hello, YouTube. which is, I don't know what's going on with that. That's a new one. Anyway, let's not waste any time. Let's not waste any time today. Let's get straight into the action. And that action is, in fact, on the Dolphin emulator. Um, thanks to What If. Thanks to... Um, who, wait. EA Sports. Uh, who, who, it's in the game. This? Who made this? EA Sports is in the game. It's in the game. It's in the game. It's in the game. It's in the game. EA Sports. Um, it's in the game. NASCAR Hello? Thunder 2003. Where does it say where it is? It just says, oh, Sledge. Sledge, that's what it's called. Okay, Sledge Mods. Sledge Mods made this. And as you can see, it actually is functioning. Ladies and gentlemen, audience, welcome. Welcome to NASCAR Thunder 2000. So, today, we're going to be doing the classic. We are going to be doing the classic DNF every single race. Because, you see, the problem is, the problem is with this mod is that Bobby Labonte is incredibly overpowered. Now, an idea that people had during What If stream was to do simulated career. A simulated career in this game feels like... It feels like we're definitely missing out on the full potential of this insane mod. And there is so much content. I don't have any content unlocked due to the fact that this is 0% um, save. And I don't have a save file. Look at Michael Walter, uh, Daryl Waltrip. This is one of my favorite cars. I love this car. Mostly because it's Kmart. Um, but we're going to be doing the DNF career. Just this, this is a throwback to 2020. We're doing a throwback. 
to 2020, and we are going to be doing a DNF career mode. So I've already got the save file set up. Already got the save file set up, so we don't have to go through that, but I will show you what we got. So I've got a Pontiac number 83. We're playing as Phil Collins, because of course. It's kind of frustrating. I can't imagine being someone like outside the United States playing these games. Um, because you can only have car you can only be a character from the United States. You're not allowed. <laughs> you're not allowed to be from outside the United States, so that's kind of unfortunate. So Phil Collins, um, one of England's best, obviously. But um, yeah, so here's the car. Here it is, the Easy Care number 83. Here we go, paint scheme. Take a, take a, oh God, oh, oh. You can actually view the, there's a car view mode in this game? Wait a minute. Oh my goodness, it's going all over the place, wait. I didn't even know you could do this. Holy shit, look at that. Look at that. Look at it go. God damn, dude. That's cool. Anyway, not the point of this video. The point of this video is to DNF every race. And we're going to start off at Daytona. And we are going to DNF. Let's find out. Let's find out who the winner of the 2000 Daytona 500 is going to be. Let's find out together. Who is adding me on Discord? Damn it, it's an at here. Son of a bitch, dude. Anyway, here we go. Um, people are gonna have to let me know if it's uh, if the uh, audio is good. Um, the reason that this is in the corner right here is for ADHD purposes. Um, because on TikTok, there's always something else going on. So you see, like, if we were to only look at this half of the screen right here, it would be a phone size. So, like, the actual content that the TikTok is is going to be on top, and then there's a bottom part just to keep the uh, ADHD-rattled Gen Z brains paying attention. So that's what I got going on down here. If it ever gets too distracting, I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we'll just get rid of it. But for now, we're going to keep the ADHD on. Uh, we're going to keep the ADHD on. Just for the sake of the meme. 25 viewers well, going to get to see the 2000 Daytona 500. Look at this front row, Mike Skinner, Dale Jarrett. Good stuff. All right. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, welcome. Welcome to NASCAR Thunder 2000 DNF Career Mode. Let's go. Let's make it happen. I'm playing on uh, it's rookie difficulty, 100% race length. And damage has to be on because we couldn't DNF if there wasn't if there was no damage. So, you know, well we could actually. You could uh, you could run the car out of gas and DNF like that, but uh, we simply do not have enough time in the day to be able to do that. We've got Dave Blaney back here in the absolutely drop dead gorgeous Amoco number ninety three. I am gonna wreck them head on, but I just want to complete the first lap because. Something that I noticed in the uh, classic NASCAR Thunder 2004 DNF careers is that on large tracks like this one, if you DNF too early, the field does not shuffle. And that's entirely the reason why we are DNFing everything. Braden Taylor's been a member for exactly one full this game calendar is a year. Oh, off that's so loud. So fucking much. I only needed Microsoft three Sam points there. Microsoft Sam is playing in my five. head. Help. He's in You're my head. You're gonna me five. I need to change this now. Fucking five. I mean, Microsoft You're going Sam to get 5 me. is funny. Yeah, yeah, like, every yeah, single yeah, member yeah, has yeah, a yeah, 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 Maybe, like, yeah, 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 Maybe if we, like, had it, like... I don't know. We're gonna have to figure out something. Alright, here we go. <laughs> here we indeed go. There's a little bit of a jump here. Oh! Oh my goodness gracious! Oh god! No! That's not good! Oh, we're not alive anymore. I think I hit Daryl. And I have wrecked my car. Yay! <laughs> success! <laughs> the first successful DNF of the playthrough. That did not end well. Also, we got, uh, we got highlight reels. I can't advance through them, though, for some reason. Because the arrow keys don't work on the screen. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Okay. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh, I missed him! I got Starlin! 
I actually got Sterling. Daryl just barely missed me. Can we get another camera angle of that? Hello? Previous reel, maybe? No? Okay, well, I guess anyone's guess... Oh, is it this button? No, it's not these buttons either. It is absolutely anyone's guess what the arrow keys are. There they are. They're on the numpad, of all things. Here we go. Hello? Oh, what a... Wow! He did not miss. He don't miss, though. He did not... No, wow. Can we get another shot of that? Is that the... No. The one before... Okay, we're already dead. We're already dead at this point. This is a great angle, I gotta say. Just out of right field. Good stuff. All right. Well, that wasn't very exciting. We've There have been better wrecks in this game. There have definitely been better wrecks in this. War burden! Let's go! I seen that! Good start! This is a good start to the playthrough. Ward Burton is the 2000 Daytona 500 winner. Over John Andretti, Elliot Sadler, Dale Jarrett makes sense, but Mike Bliss for 27 Eel River Racing gets a top five in the Daytona 500. Wow. And Jimmy Spencer gets the final spot in the top ten. Goodness gracious. And Gordon finishes 34th. Ha. Huh. Alright, well, that's where we're starting with. There's the beginning. <laughs> 193 lead changes. Man. Man, you thought that NASCAR was all about the entertainment now. Take a look at the 193 lead changes. Well, that's going to start us out last in points. Ward Burton has got the top spot. That is his second career win. I think... I think, no, I think the Daytona 500 was wow, his third career win. That's Hello? Cool. Who's going that? to replace Dale Earnhardt when he retires? Who's going to replace Dale? I don't know, Jordan. We're going to have to wait and find out. Thank you for the three. I can actually hear these and actually look at them today because we're not actively playing an actual game that requires skill. No, indeed, it does not require skill to do this. Anyone could do this. Oh, there's Rookie of the Year. There's also Rookie of the Year points. We're going to want to remember to watch over that. As long as Gordon does not win the championship. I'm hoping that Gordon finishes so badly this season that he is auto-retired. But anyone can replace Dale because I'm pretty sure it's guaranteed for him to retire in, uh, in Season 1 at the end of 2000, regardless. They, they don't kill him off. <laughs> they don't kill him off. Hornaday would be a good one. Michael Waltrip, I, he can't because he's already got a car. But, like, there are so many Bush Series drivers. I'm hoping Carl Long ends up in the three car. <laughs> Has anything interesting happened? My man, we have just started the stream. You have missed Daytona. That's it. Oh! 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 <laughs> no, Steve Park! <laughs> We've lost Steve Park. He is upside down. Is there a rear view mirror in this game? Where is the rear view mirror? The mirror. There we go. Oh, we've also got widescreen. <laughs> okay, so as it turns out... Oh, and I completely forgot to do something. Um, I actually didn't want... I actually didn't really want the uh, classic uh, banner on this stream. I was going to do uh, this. There we go. Full screen. Full screen. We don't need... We don't need a, uh, we don't need that shit. Okay. So much for Steve Park. Oh, I don't have a left front. Bobby Labonte's not having a good time either. Can Ricky Hendrick replace Dale Earnhardt? I'm just, I think anyone in this game can replace Dale Earnhardt. All right, Johnny Benson, Ricky Rudd. Um, oh, that's Terry. I just murdered Terry for no reason. Oh, there's Anthony. So now, if you'll recall, there is a way in NASCAR Thunder 2004 to become um, uh, impervious to damage. It is possible to do that. Oh! So, will that happen? Oh my goodness, they're dropping like flies. <laughs> they're dropping like flies. Ricky Rudd is done. Oh, no, we're dead. <laughs> we are dead. Yay! 
F for Bobby. F for basically everyone. Ooh, ooh. The camera angle such shit. Oh, and there's Steve. There's Steve. No, Steve. An 83 car probably isn't too happy about his finish. Uh, we'll find out how happy I am about the finish once we find out who's won. And your winner of race number two of 2000 is... Steve Park! How? How? My man was upside down! You saw it! You saw it in the replay! My man was upside down! He wasn't okay! Oh my goodness! A year early, Steve Park gets the dub at Rockingham! How does that happen? <laughs> He's just that good. He is just that good. How? There is a there is a serious level of skill involved here. I still got Easy Care. We haven't lost the sponsors yet, which is interesting. All right. Well, oh my goodness, Dale is forty first in points, ahead of only Bobby Hamilton for McClure and Ricky Craven for Midwest Transit Racing. Wow, Kenseth is the points leader. Matt, Matt, the bat. Which button, uh, which button shows me his stats? Does anyone know which button would show me his... Oh, it would be the, uh, that button. So he has one career top five. <laughs> but he has two top tens, an average finish of 6.5. What a legend, Matt Kenseth. That is impressive right there. Uh, Steve, with his win, moves up to third. That's his first top ten of the season. And Ward falls all the way to seventh. Oof. That is indeed an oof. And then we gotta check out the uh, uh, Rookie of the Year award. So Kenny Wallace. Kenny Wallace has Rookie of the Year honors. Oh, wait. For some reason, uh, Daryl Waltrip is considered a Rookie of the Year contender. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's gonna be an interesting championship to determine right there. See, that's the thing, is that I was thinking about doing simulated... Uh, universe in this game but because Bobby Labonte is so overpowered I think DNF career makes a lot more sense so yeah all right Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas ladies and gentlemen let's get this show on the road yeah exactly Bobby is too overpowered so we're gonna so in order to make this more interesting like we could simulate the next eight years and have Bobby Labonte win eight straight championships and then he finally retires and we get something else. Or, or we could do this and just get there a little bit slower but make it a little bit more interesting. Oh, it's because the database is incorrect. I see. I see. Because Junior and Matt aren't in the rookie standings. Yeah, that'll do it. Hello, friends. Ooh, that was John Andretti, I believe, that is no longer a part of this reality. Multiple cars upside down on the front stretch. They're five wide, Daryl. Going five wide. We're still upside down, by the way. Uh, there's nothing I can do at this point because the fuel cell is dead. Ooh, that was almost a crash. Speaking of crash, you've wrecked your car. <laughs> Oof. It's rough. Rough, rough times, man. There will be a lot of bonus points awarded for a lot of bonus points. Uh, a lot of bonus points awarded, and a lot of trips to the hospital. Stewart managed to com to, to actually complete that lap as he was dead. And your winner at Las Vegas is Jeff Burton gets it over Bill Elliott, the Fords, showing out of Vegas. And then it's Joe Nemechek for Andy Petrie. Another top 10 for Eel River Racing. Mike Bliss is making it happen. Let's go, Mike. That's, a, that's some solid stuff right there. Was that like, was that actually who won IRL? Hang on, we're going to have to get Racing Reference out. We're going to have to get the Racing Reference out for this one. Did he actually win this race? He did! Wow, okay, okay. He led 58 laps, and it was rain-shortened. One of the many Jeff Burton rain-shortened wins. Interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> Alright, so that leaves us with... 
What kind of point situation? We are ahead of uh, Casey Atwood in points. That That's pretty good. Rusty Wallace to the points lead by a sizable margin. He's looking for number two, sitting on 49 career wins. Over Elliot Sadler. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Elliot Sadler second. Ward Burton third. Steve Park fourth. And Matt Kenseth fifth. Walt Rick Master for AJ Foyt Racing sits seven. What an absolutely blessed top ten in points. Here's Mike Bliss, Eel River Racing. <laughs> oh my goodness, Mike Bliss. Championship contender Mike Bliss. We're getting there. Have I fully recovered from listening to every Taylor Swift album? Not really. Not really. That took a lot out of me. Is Tony Raines a bush driver in this mod? He is. You want to see something? You want to see what I just pulled out of the basement? Here, let's 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 start the race and just stop on the track. Here we go. All right. Let's see if anyone hits me sitting on the uh, middle of the track here. All right. Okay. You want to see what I got? <laughs> You want me to do every Phil Collins album ranked? I'd want to include Genesis in that, otherwise it'd be a pretty short video. But I would rank every Phil Collins album. It's unfortunate, though, that it's just really easy to do that, due to the fact that there's um, a couple of really good albums. So, uh, yeah. Take a look at what I dug out of the basement the other day. Oh, we're dying. Tony Raines, number 33, the one that appears in this mod. The very car that appears in this mod. And guess what else? Can I make this bigger for a second? Take a look. It's signed. It's fucking signed. How about that? That's impressive stuff right there. Anyway, that didn't kill me. So that means that we're going to have to try a little bit harder. To cause, uh, cause death here. Hello? There we go. Can we, uh, can we, can we come down the track here? Hello? Oh, Johnny Benson didn't have a good time. Oh, there is a lot of death. There is a lot of death. I may still be alive, but Johnny Benson definitely is not. Who's this sitting in flames over here? That doesn't look so good. That is John Andretti. Oof. Hey, Gordon's out. That's good. Oh, almost got Dale. Almost got Dale. Ugh. Oh, there's your points leader, Rusty Wallace. I think I just lost my other tire. Oh, Bobby! Yep, I no longer have front tires. Oh, 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 we're done. Oh, it's over. Yep, that's it. <laughs> that's this race done. Well, you have wrecked your car. That's good. That is the goal. In fact, why won't this set? There we go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's shiny. Poor Johnny just sliding down the banking. <laughs> That's messed up, dude. Wow. <laughs> On fire, burning the candle from both ends is Johnny Benson. That's rough. That was a uh, not so hot. That was not so hot. Man, putting this stupid box together. Why are die casts so difficult to put back into stupid boxes, dude? That's just... Mm. Anyway. Who is the winner at Atlanta? Let's find out. Gordon, not Gordon. Your winner at Atlanta is... Sterling! Sterling Marlin with 18 laps led. Gets the 33.226 margin of victory. The... The, the most dominating victory by any driver to lead 18 laps. Kevin LePage a third. Wow. Mike Bliss eighth. The Eel River Racing Championship hopes live on. Yes. 311 lead changes. <laughs> it was a wild one, let me tell you. Let me tell you that. Yeah, I love this Kevin LePage car, actually. I, I love the TV Guide 16. It's so good, and it reminds me of when my grandma got TV Guide magazines as a subscription. Always excited to see what was in that. Elliot Sadler to the points lead over Matt Kenseth, 
and Kenny Wallace, the top three in points after four races in 2000, have a zero combined career wins. <laughs> that was Sterling Marlin's seventh win. And then there's old Bill Elliott with his even 40 sitting up in fourth on his own team in the legendary McDonald's 94. Mike Bliss is sixth. <laughs> Come on, Eel Ripper Racing. We got this. Rick Maston in seventh. Rusty falls all the way to eighth. He was all the way up in the points lead at one point. And Ward's down in tenth. Daytona 500 winner has not gotten the top ten since the big win at Daytona. Next race is Darlington. Elliot Sadler versus Bill Elliott for the title. Some guys that made their name racing for Ford. But retired. Not in the Ford. What a what an absolutely legendary championship battle that would be. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> this is Joe Moore along with Barney Hall. Look at how smooth these graphics are though. Like the mod is installed well, you know, and it and it's perfectly the, everything's working. There's no lag spikes, there's no you know, issues like that. And Dolphin Emulator runs this game really well. Like everything about this is just really nice. This is a great mod. This is fantastic. Here's Scott Pruitt. So something that we discovered playing uh, NASCAR Thunder 2004 DNF every race is that when um, if a driver gets lapped and then uh, and then you DNF, um, usually what happens is they will uh, they will automatically win the race. So let's find out that if Scott Pruitt gets ra uh, gets uh, lapped here. And then we DNF the car. Let's find out if that causes uh, Scott Pruitt to win this race. Oh, we are tumbling down the front stretch. <laughs> Holy shit. What a sight that was. This is going to be a good replay. We're going to have to watch this. I have a green screen. I just don't have any A lights or B good camera. So. Boy, do we see a lot of... A lot of different leaders. There's me and Scott Pruitt making out on the front stretch. Let's see if we can get the, yeah. Can we get the good shot here? Oh, no. No. They're already tumbling down the front stretch. Come on. Come on, let's get this good replay. Yes! Oh, everyone's in it! What a moment in time. Wow. We hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. We hope you enjoyed watching everyone die on the front stretch of Darlington. Look at that. Got all of Petty Enterprises in it. <laughs> oh, that's rough. That is rough. That is the kiss cam right there. And your winner at Darlington is Derek Hope! Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Ten years later, career win number three for Derek Cope. <gasps> Woo! Rick Mass third. No, where did... Okay, Mike Bliss 19th. That's not too bad. Oh my goodness, Derek Cope. <laughs> In a photo finish with Jeff Burton. By a nose, Derek Cope has won at Darlington. What? <laughs> this is good shit. This is, this is high quality stuff right here, man. Let me tell you. For Bud Moore. <laughs> nice. Alright. I, I don't I think that's a part-time car, so where is that gonna put him in the standings? Yeah, that was his only race. And a part-time entry! The first start of the season. When he gets the dub. That's amazing. That's that's actually amazing. Rick Mast is the points leader for AJ Point Racing. <laughs> Not even that bad. An average finish of 11.6. That's halfway as realistic. And Mike Bliss up to fourth. Let's go, dude. Scott Pruitt, in fact, did not win that race. I should have checked to see where he did finish that. Did anyone see? Like, was he uh, was he with me near the bottom? Okay, so, rookie Rick Mast, with his 314 starts, is the points leader. Any jackpot five? No winner in the jackpot five, unfortunately, at Las Vegas. That's a shame. Ford is the manufacturer leader at the moment. And Jeff Burton has the most laps led on the season with 67. Very, very interesting. 
Man, this is great. Oh, I've already lost my sponsor as well. That's fine. That doesn't matter. <laughs> this is great. This is a great decision. <laughs> I was torn between doing this or doing um Tony Reigns tonight, but I've actually got a lot of free time this week. So either tomorrow or Friday we'll do the next Tony Reigns race. It is Richmond, so I really want to get to it. It'll probably be tomorrow. Because I love Richmond. Anyway, Chad Little on the pole here at Day or Bristol, Daytona. I almost said Daytona. <laughs> Boy, that would have been something. Anyway, 500 laps at Bristol. I know how to turn 500 laps into a two and a half minutes. No, Breaky, you will not be doing that. Oh God! Oh, that's a that's a five. Thank you, Newfound Power 92 for the five. I will read that once. You know what? We don't even need to pay attention. I may as well read this. Got this on the background while I played Chase for the Cup. Just got dumped in a modified charity race. Gotta love it. Love your content. Thank you, Newfound Power 92 for the five. Yes, I would also watch me in the background if I had the choice. Unfortunately, I'm stuck being myself, so I have to I have to live in the moment. Okay, that's, that's what I do most of the time though. Whenever anyone else is streaming, I'll usually put them on on this computer and I'll just do something on this. Anyway, we're dead. Thank you for the five. That is their third super chat ever. Thank you. Where are we, Bill? Yeah. Yeah, I would like to see some adjustments made to the ratings, too. But I would also like to see some adjustments made to the ratings in uh, NASCAR Thunder 2004 so that Casey doesn't suck. That's the biggest problem that I have with this mod, is that there's no way to have Casey in it. Because he wasn't racing NASCAR in 2000. Anyway, uh, your winner at Bristol, the Food City 500, goes to... Wally Dollenbeck! Over Brett Bodine! Nice. Oh, a great finish for Rick Mass. That's going to keep him in the points lead. Ward Burton, fifth. Good recovery after he's had a slump following Daytona. And a good finish for Mike Bliss. Are we demonetized yet? Nope. I haven't played any copyrighted music and I haven't uh, encouraged self harm. So, yeah, Rick Mass. I forgot how loud Put this on in the background while I play Chase for the Cup. Just he got dumped in a modified through. charity True. race. Gotta love it. Love your Gotta content. Love it indeed. Thank you for the five. So let's just get it. If you're just joining us. If you're just joining us, you've missed an interesting start to the season. Wally Dollenbach. Career win. Wait. Did he ever get a win? He was in contention for a lot of wins. Did he ever actually get it? He didn't. That's a shame. So first career win for Wally. Comes at Bristol. The week before that, Derek Cope was the winner at uh, Darlington. Sterling Marlin won in Atlanta. Then Jeff Burton at Vegas. Steve Park got the dub at Rockingham and to start the season. Corbin Forrester out front. Let's and then seven with limited Taco Johns and Little Caesars for yes. your Taylor Swift's work. Best journalism that I've seen in years. You are a modern day Walter Cronkite. <laughs> Walter Cronkite. Thank you, Adam Peel, for the seven. Yes, that was a, uh, that was quite the experience making that video. Um, I'm glad it's over. Is all I'm gonna say. Did we check standings? Yeah, Rick Mass by 70 points over Ward Burton. Kenny Wallace in there in a solid third place. Mike Bliss still fourth. The underdog story for Eel River Racing sitting fourth in the standings. Bill Elliott fifth. Dale Earnhardt has. He started the season off after a Rockingham, 41st in points. He has clawed his way up to 6th. Sterling Marlin, Wally, Jerry Nadu, and Brett Bodine make up the top 10 in points as we head into Texas. Texas. I beat the Intimidator with Bubbles on his yeah, You're exactly right about that. Good stuff, good stuff. I guess uh, Rick Mass and Mike Bliss are going to be full-time, even though Derek Cope is part-time. Or maybe it randomly determines it based off of, like, a random shuffle at the start of a career mode playthrough. Or maybe it's uh, predetermined because of who he replaced with the cars. Ooh, that's the alternative number 44 paint scheme up on the front row there. Kyle Petty with the pole at Texas. All right. Here we indeed go, running the... Uh, the Legends course. That's what we're doing. 
Spin it around, would you? Okay, give me about 15 seconds. Back when Texas was halfway as decent. I love Texas in NASCAR Thunder 2004. It's one of my favorite tracks. Ooh, I missed Dale. I've been aiming for Dale this whole... Oh, that's Ward. And we're dead. And so is Chad Little. <laughs> Oof. Man, another heartbreaker at Texas for Chad Little. How does this keep happening? How does this keep happening? <laughs> Absolutely brutal. Can we get a good replay on that one? We've got some great thumbnail opportunities in this so far. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Oh, Ward. And then Chad Little with nowhere to go. What a shame, man. What a shame. Oh, here's an even better camera angle. Never mind. Never mind on the camera angle being better. It was, in fact, worse. Okay. And your winner at Texas is... Ward died. That's a shame. Dale finished terribly, so that's a bad day in points for them. Your winner at Texas... Carl Long! In a photo finish over Johnny Benson. What is this top five? Two bow dimes. Daryl Waltrip, and a photo finish between Johnny Benson and your winner, Carl Long. <laughs> MBM is going to victory lane. Oh my goodness. Wasn't this the same track? Wasn't it Texas where he got the big penalty, or was it Charlotte? Wouldn't that be some amazing just redemption right there? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious, that car's engine might be a uh, 13 uh, hundredths of a cubic inch too large. Too large for victory lane. What a fucking, what a result. He's part-time too in this, because he's a bush driver. So there you go, another one and done. He just rolled up to the scene and slapped his nuts on the table and went, Welcome to victory lane. So that's two times that that's happened. Part-time winners. Win for Derek Cope and a win for Carl Long. Rick Amast is still the points leader. <laughs> Good shit, Rick. Good shit. Let's drop down to the awards. Let's see how the uh, laps champion is looking. Jeff Burton still with the most laps led. Rick Mast is up there with 76, though. Big stuff. Or was it a, a .17? Not point thirteen. I thought it was point thirteen. I thought that was the reason that he uh, had the number thirteen in the Bush series for so long. I thought it was a reference to that. <laughs> three hundred and twenty-three lead changes. He led the lap that mattered the most. Good stuff. Absolutely. How long do I plan on doing this? That's a good question. I don't have to work tomorrow. I don't have to get up tomorrow. I've already reached my limit for hours at work, so I could go all night. We could go all night. All right, paperclip time. Chad Little on the pole looking to rebound after his DNF at Texas. Ooh, everyone's stopping. Oh, the checkup. Oh, look at that. It's the, uh, it's the number 60. <laughs> stop the car. Stop the madness. Let's see if I can't... Uh, Scott Pruitt's back here again. Trying to get Scott Pru to win. Or the 60, I guess. Could work too. Hello, friends. Ugh. I'm dead already. Unbelievable. Any interesting work stories? Yeah. There's a few I could talk about, but... I think we're gonna be... A oh, dear. Some bad things happening right at the end of that replay. I think we're gonna be too busy to uh, talk about anything that happened at work. He puts the cum in encumbered. <laughs> Please don't make this a 10-hour stream. Why? Don't you want to witness 10 hours of death? We should go all the way to 20, uh... How long does this go for? Does this stop automatically at 2019? Man, there were some bad things happening there at the end. Okay, Scott Pruitt finishes last. Jeff Bodine finishes deep in the field, so I guess that trick doesn't work in this game. And your winner, at Martinsville. In a photo finish of two one-thousandths of a second, the closest finish in NASCAR history, the winner is Bobby Labonte over Dale Earnhardt. Man. Man, you just can't stop these photo finishes between these two. And Chad Little third. Who got the most laps led? Oh, it was split three ways. They all get ten bonus points. 
By the way, this is exactly why we're doing DNF instead of uh, just simulating, because Bobby Labonte and Dale are overpowered. So that's why we're doing DNF, so that it uh, shuffles the finishing results, so we get the most insane universe possible. <laughs> this ain't even an alternative universe. This is just the universe. 487 lead changes at Martinsville. Could you imagine? Okay, that puts Rick Mass still in the points lead. He's got 44 points over Kenny Wallace. I'm pulling for Rick Mass, man. He's been racing ever since 1988. No wins, nine career top fives. He's, he deserves it, man. He deserves it. All right, next race. Don't simulate. I, I, almost hit sim I keep almost hitting simulate. What's the middest NASCAR track? Um, for me, that's a good question. It depends on the year. I mean, some year, like, you know, most of the time, Bristol's great. And then you get, like, a 2015, 20, you know, 2016 package where it's just drop-dead boring. And then you have years where, you know, like... Mid-Ohio was the race to watch for, like, a three-year period in Xfinity. And then, like, the last couple of years, it was just, you know, someone driving off to a... Or then you got Canadian Tire. Canadian Tire is a great example. Because Canadian Tire was fantastic for its entire existence, and then Brett Moffat won the race by, like, eight seconds in the final season. Phil Collins running away with the last car championship. We're making it happen, man. We gotta win something. I think the best way to, like, determine the track that is the most mid... Oh, got him! I think I went right through him. Oh, we're flying! Oh, we're flying now! Dale's not okay. Oh, no. Oh, we're still wrecking! Am I still alive? Oh, shit, I'm still alive! We survived the first hit. Dale didn't know. Oh my goodness, is that both? Oh no! Look at this! Look at this shot! <laughs> both the Dales stopped. Both the Dales stopped. At Talladega. Can I aim this so that, like, we can get them both in shot without one of them despawning? Look at this. This is too perfect. This is literally too perfect. I can't believe what I'm looking at right now. Look at this. Wow. What a shot. Tragic. Absolutely tragic. Ooh, we're still driving it. That's a thumbnail right there. Hello, friends. Ooh, that's Dave Blaney. Oh, Dave didn't make it. Oh, dear. I think all of my tires are blown. Kill me! All of my tires are blown and I'm not dead. Someone kill me. Please kill me. Please kill me. I think I'm invincible. I need to go down the pit lane, change tires, repair the damage so that I can die. I think there are as many people that are dead on this racetrack. There were no survivors. <laughs> there were no survivors. This is like the 2002 uh, Bush Series Talladega race where everyone was dead on lap 6. And Casey was not dead. But he still managed to find a way to finish a lap down in that race. Casey absolutely could have won that race. And it, well, actually, he couldn't really because the car was kind of shit. And he wasn't going to be able to keep up in the draft anyway, even if he did. But, okay, we're going to fix We're gonna fix the car. We're going to put on all the tires just so that I can drive. And then hopefully that will allow me to die when I hit him next. Were there any X-Men schemes in 2000? I don't think so. I'm hoping that someone absolutely ridiculous gets the three car. If it's like Jimmy Johnson, I'm going to be disappointed. Wow. Absolutely no stakes. The first time that the pit crew has been used all season and they screw up. What am I paying you guys for? Check in the sheet metal. Check in the sheet metal. You put Casey in the 32 because Pruitt sucks. Well, there's nothing wrong with Scott Pruitt. It's just I wish, you know, there was a way to add Casey in. Like, if that would, that's my only request. That is my one and only request for this mod, is for Casey to be in it. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a perfect mod. I forgot what the controls are. Hold on. Oh, well. The two car is up high. 
If you say so, crew chief. Oh. NASCAR officials are a little angry at us. No, the NASCAR officials are just now angry at us, by the way. First ever pit stop for Phil Collins is a 26.6. Lightning fast. <laughs> Lightning fast pit crew. That's a one lug stop level of speed right there. Okay. I want to try and build up as much speed as possible so that we, uh, you know, are no longer alive at the end of this race. Alright, hello friends. Oh! That was the Kodiak number 9, Stacy Compton, I believe. We are still not dead. Can I just say that we're still not dead? Many cars are pitting. There's 188 laps. Michael! What was that? He turned into me! Michael! Oh my goodness! I, they're just, they're just, that's just. Okay, let's try backing into them. Let's see if they will, if I cannot be alive if they hit me from behind. Nope, we're still alive. It really must be said that I am still alive. <laughs> nope, we're done. There it is. That's all it took. <laughs> I need a lamp. Do you have any idea how bright that light bulb is? It's bright. The lead changed hands quite a bit. I think the lighting is fine. It's as good as it's gonna get with this shitbag camera. Okay, the Dales finished last, and your winner at Talladega, Kyle Petty! And Mike Bliss with fifth. Great run for Mike Bliss. And another good finish for Ward. I don't know where Rick Mast finished, though. He didn't finish too bad by the looks of it. 24th, that's not terrible. Kyle Petty with five laps led gets it in the photo finish over Ricky Rudd. Jeff Bodine fourth. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's his first win since, what, 1994? Hot Wheels in victory lane. Dale Jr. rumored to make another JRM number 88 announcement. Who's it going to be? Um, I saw that tweet. Um, I have no idea who it's going to be. I mean, if it was just Miguel Paluto again, he probably wouldn't have made that tweet. Kenny Wallace now has the points lead over Rick Mass by 11. Mike Bliss is up there in third. Man, I don't know who could it could be. Maybe it's Brody Koscheki or however you say his last name. That's a, that's that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Brody. Hot Wheels beat that. Well, let's see here. Let's let's hold on a second. Let me turn my uh, flashlight on. Okay, so this is me with the flashlight on. How does this actually look? Okay, you know what? Let them cook. This actually looks better. This this actually does look better. Okay, JC has a point. Never mind. Sorry. This is the last time I'll ever doubt you. I should know better by now. Oh, Carson Quaffle. That's a good guess, too. Okay, maybe I'll get a desk lamp. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. We could we could go, like, right in the middle of the stream. I could run to Walmart and see if there's any desk lamps available. Except I don't have any plugins. That's the problem. I don't want to overload my plugins over here. Anyway, um, okay. California! California Speedway. Why do they never have go-or-go-home qualifying in these old games? Probably because it's too complicated for the casual fan, and probably because it'd be too complicated to program it correctly. I would have really liked go-or-go-home qualifying just to make things more interesting, but um, I'm not too mad about the fact that it was never included. Hello? We're doing burnouts. Victory burnouts on the front stretch. Ditch stream. <laughs> ditch stream to run to Walmart. What I wish I could do is transfer this stream to my phone and then just live stream myself running through Walmart. Brody Koscheki. Is that how you say it? Not like it matters. We're about to DNF anyway. <laughs> and we're dead. Oh, many people are dead. Not just me, but many people are dead. I don't think Bill's walking away from that one. We are dead on both ends, by the way. Oh, there's Bobby in at the last second. Dave Marcus is in this game, which is always fun. Boy, we are sliding. Sliding down the road. You can DNF from burning out too long? Yeah. Yeah, you can do that, but that's way less interesting than throwing myself into the field. Uh. This was an exciting last lap, wasn't it? Wow, you know, you're right. That, that was an exciting last lap. This was also an exciting wreck. John Andretti has had the worst end of most of these wrecks so far. Okay, and your winner at California Speedway is... Kenny! Kenny Schrader gets it done over Jeff Burton. 
Nice. Oh, another great finish for Mike Bliss. He finishes ahead of Kenny Wallace. He finishes ahead of uh, Ward. All the guys he's competing with in points. Rick Mass has had a bad couple of weeks. Mike Bliss is going to be climbing these standings. Dave Barkas is almost guaranteed to retire after the first season, unfortunately. Well, he is like, what, 60? You know, they're programmed to not uh, let anyone stay in the cars past age 55, I believe. They'll automatically retire anyone after that amount of time. Okay. Oh, Mike! 11 points back is Mike Bliss in his first full-time season. Actual rookie driver Mike Bliss with prodigy Eel River Racing has a 15.3 average finish. But he's only had a best finish of fifth. And Rick Mast has fallen back. Kenny Wallace with no wins yet. Five top tens. Pretty good start to his season. Let's check out the lap champion quick. Oh, that's less interesting. Johnny Benson with 100 laps led even. Johnny and Bill Elliott with exactly 100 laps. Isn't that something? Kostecki. All right. I don't care. <laughs> hey! Derek Coffey watch the classic DNF stream. The classic DNF streams give me life. I remember when Clable made a highlights video for that. That was a lot of work to sift through a 10 hour stream to find the highlights for that. Have I ever played Wreckfest? Yes. Yes, I've played Wreckfest. I played Wreckfest back when it was called Next Car Game. But I deleted that video because it got no views. Phil Collins, future 20 time last car champion. No, not, you're not wrong. All this for a Jeff Burton championship. Well, you just hold your horses. You just hold your horses. Can you explain to me what you're doing? All right. So, in the game NASCAR Thunder 2003, there's an interesting thing that happens whenever you DNF. Whenever you DNF in this game, it gets really confused and reshuffles the finishing results. So, every time that you DNF a race, the game is going to randomly roll the dice... And however that dice roll goes is how the uh, race results are gonna are gonna end up. So that's why we're driving backwards and trying to DNF every single race because ooh, because then we'll have an insane season where there's a bunch of random results and anything is possible. Nope, we haven't made it to the brickyard yet, sadly. But there was an interesting uh, there was a lot of death at uh, Talladega. Just now. These are some good replays. The replays in this are way better than the replays in NASCAR Thunder 2004. I'll say that. By seven thousandths of a second, your winner at Richmond, Joe Nemechek, front row Joe over Ward, Mike Bliss fourth, the championship hopes. The Eel River Racing Championship. It's going to happen. It's got to happen here. Oh my goodness. You haven't seen this old creepy gif in a long time. The backstory is that it was from a calculus video. People reminded me of the calculus series last night, and I was like, I had to go back and uh, watch through it all. <laughs> Y'all want to watch through my calculus series? I haven't saved the game this entire time yet, so let's save the game quick. Alright, save successful. Okay, your points. Heading into the All-Star break. Robbie Gordon is 51st with 66 points. Don't forget, Carl Long has one start and one win. Derek Cope has one start and one win. They're looking to take a, take a seat at the table next season. Yes! Eel River Racing! Eel River Racing sits on the top of the point standings. 14.3 average finish. Mike has not won a race yet, but he's looking. He's been knocking on the door all season long. Great season for Johnny so far. Well, I say that as he has one top 10, but average finish of 18.3 is good enough for six in points. <laughs> Kenseth has fallen down the order. Kenseth starts out this game with zero wins. So does uh, Dale Jr., I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because it's the year 2000, so obviously. Speaking of Dale Jr., oh my goodness, where is he? Did I just miss him? Ricky Rudd. Oh, there he is. 33rd in points. Dale Jr. Wow. 
Not the rookie season he was looking for. Okay, we're just gonna skip the all-star race because it doesn't matter. So we'll just simulate that. Your winner is Ricky Rudd. Very interesting. Anyway, Coke 600 time. Coke 600 time! I hope Carl Long gets in the three car. That'd be a, that'd be some quality shit right there. Waiting for the game to load. It's taking forever. All right. Who is that on the front row? We got John Andretti, and who was was that? Na native? Jared Nadeau. I'm pretty sure that that I think that was an alternative native pace game, like the. But like he has the uh, whatever it's called, the Michael Holligan. the Michael Holligan sponsorship, and it was like the blue car the entire time. So, but that looked like his uh, GMAC car from a... Oh! No, it was Jeff Bodine. It was Jeff Bodine on the pole. <laughs> and now it's Jeff Bodine going to the infield care center. Oh my goodness. There's some bad things that happen in that corner. It was indeed Jeff Bodine, as it turns out. Wow, you have wrecked your car. What an exciting finish. Yeah, what an exciting finish. finish. We're gonna have a photo finish. <laughs> Can we get a good camera angle? Hello? Not really. No good camera angles for this? No. We can just see the aftermath. Wow. <laughs> the crowd surfing. See, there it is. See, there's the Michael Holgan car right there, as a matter of fact. Anyway, you're a winner at Charlotte. Yeah, Jeff didn't make it from first to last. Unbelievable. Finishing first place in the longest race. Three hours and 38 minutes. 364 lead changes. But zero cautions because cautions are turned off. Your winner at Charlotte. Jerry! Oh my goodness gracious! Speak of the devil! Jerry Nadu, another photo finish over Johnny Benson. The second one in a row on With zero laps led, what? Oh my goodness, was there a disqualification? Zero laps led Jerry Nadu gets the win somehow. Look at this. No bonus points because he led no laps. How? Wait. If there was a disqualification, we'd have finished 42nd. What is happening? See, this is what I say when I... This is exactly what I mean when I say that the game gets confused whenever you DNF. The Fury from Dan Murray. True. Yeah, I was thinking about reviewing, someone suggested reviewing Kanye West's discography, and I was like, oh, oh, look at this, Ryan Newman made his first career start, didn't do very good. Mike Bliss continues to lead the points, and with that win in the Coke 600, Jerry Nadeau moves to second in points with seven top tens on the season. Rick Mass is back up to third, I think he fell, oh, no, Kenny Wallace was in the points lead, he's down to fifth. Oh my goodness, another second place finish for Johnny Benson. This is too real. This is absolutely too realistic. <laughs> Johnny finishing second constantly. Yeah, cars coming back from the dead and leading laps makes a bit more sense because, you know, cars can return to the track and, like, it just it's just a random shuffle. It's just a random shuffle. You got yourself stuck in a pair of handcuffs and you had to call the police to get out of it. Was it like, wait, there was something kinky going on and it got out of hand? Sterling Marlin and Joe Nemechek on the front row. Front row Joe at Dover. Alright, we are indeed going green. I did the Bee Gees twice and then Tears for Fears. I haven't done Phil Collins yet because, like, I just didn't have enough to say about Phil Collins albums like i know phil collins music is great but like as like you know as like a complete package like for a video it's just oh dear okay we're already dead but no 
But now that I took notes for the Swift video, I'll probably start taking notes moving forward, and then we can really get, like, real in-depth discussions about these albums going on. Anyway, that's that race done. <laughs> and your winner at Dover is... Jimmy Spencer! What's this? His first win in five years? It was longer than five years. Was it, wasn't it 90... I don't remember when it was. Derek Cope, eighth. <laughs> Rick Mass, seventh. Great run for Rick Mass, but where's Eel River Racing? No! A terrible run for Mike Bliss. No, his points lead is in shambles. The Kmart car gets the win at Dover. 1994. Yeah, he won twice in 94. See, that's the only thing that I remembered is that he won twice and it was like early to mid 90s. So that puts Rick Mask back at the top of the points. Daytona 500 winner Ward Burton has five top tens. Where's uh, Jimmy? He's up to ten. Good stuff, good stuff. Anyway, let's take a look at the uh, laps led championship here. Johnny Benson with the most laps led but no wins. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, dude. Alright, time to go to Michigan. My average Taylor Swift album review was longer than yours. Well, I I made the most honest video that I could possibly make, okay? The dick from Berwick. <laughs> nice. I made the most honest video that I could have possibly made. Like, let's be honest. I put in a lot of effort into that. And I've only gotten two pretentious comments so far. I might go into negative cash. Well, all that's going to do is make everyone... I'm just going to have to rehire everyone for my pit crew every single race. So I could just not pay them. <laughs> we'll do it the Roger Carter way. Just hire some, uh, you know, uh, local talent and not pay them after the race. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let them go by for a lap because this is a long track. So I want to make sure that they get a lap in so that we can hope for the shuffle to work. JC on 9-11. There was a second one. Ooh. I can't make 9-11 references, otherwise they'll take down my videos for terrorist sympathy. Oh, we're flying now! Oh! The hang time! Holy shit! We were in the air for a while there. Goodness gracious. Liars, thieves, and lawyers, Phil Collins racing. Now flying through the air. This ain't good. I don't remember the line. I haven't actually honestly watched Talladega Nights in like a few years. It was playing on the TV at work a while ago. I watched it like from behind the desk. Yeah. I think we might be invincible. Taylor Swift video is a source for stupid comments. That's a good point. I haven't gotten any, like, actual good stupid comments lately. It's all the same shit, you know? So, you know, we'd have another opportunity for something else. Who's that? Gordon! Get fucked! <laughs> Damn it. Hopefully we got Gordon. Yeah, that's his. that was his front bumper there. Oh my goodness! Stop hitting me! I think we might be invincible and immediately dies. Holy shit, how long was I in the air? Can we get a timer on this? Good lord. Look at it just float like it's got like moon gravity going on. Look at that. Graceful. <laughs> Fucking graceful. One more time. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four. Four and a half, five seconds of airtime. That's amazing. Absolutely fantastic. John Andretti did not make it. Your winner in Michigan. He did it! He finally got him!
Johnny Benson, first career win at Michigan. Scott Pruitt, fourth. Great run for him. Wally finishes sixth. Kenny Irwin, Jr., tenth. Wow. He's part-time in this playthrough. He's part-time in this mod for some reason. Damn it, dude! Mike Bliss's season is falling apart. <laughs> this is tragic. Still no repeat winners. That's a good point. Why do I hate Taylor Swift? Trains K1024. Watch the video. <laughs> Watch the video. <laughs> oh, Johnny's the points leader. Throwback to the original DNF playthrough where Johnny Benson won the 2003 championship. He's got four top tens, but an average finish of 14.9. And he is at the top of the standings. Goodness gracious, Rick Mast is just falling down the order. Jerry Nadeau's falling down. Mike Bliss is already almost a full race out of the points lead. Unbelievable. All it takes is a couple of bad races. And then it's just, then it's done. And then it's done. I'll win the Powerball and spend the night with Tony Breidinger before we get a repeat winner. Man. Why'd you do that? Tony Breidinger doesn't need money. Let's be honest. She don't need no money. Okay. Another fucking poll for John Andretti. He's just a poll machine in this game. There's Eel River Racing. They're always starting in the back. They should be safe from the danger back there, you'd think, but they're not. That's the wrong way, buddy. You'd think they'd be safe from the danger. But what turn of four ever? When do they start using that marketing? Because I don't see it on the wall here. Have they added any new uh, billboards to the game yet? Because I know that they put a uh, custom billboard for the mod maker. But um, that's all I knew about. That's what I'd like to see. How far away is Southwest Speed Bay from my condo? It's about a 20 minute drive, I'd say. 10 miles at most. All right, hello friends. Anthony Wayne Stewart. Anthony did not survive, but I did. Oh, someone's having a real bad time back there. Someone was flipping hard. That was ugly. <laughs> that was an ugly wreck right there. You can mod Thunder 2004 now, can you? Holy shit. Someone please make Casey good. That's all I want, is to swap uh, Jeff Gordon and Casey Mears' ratings in NASCAR Thunder 2004. That's all I want. That's the one thing that I want in this life. I also want to be able to drive as the uh, dump truck in the Russia level in Test Drive 5. That's something else that I've always wanted my entire life. Am I? Okay. Might be invincible. There's a very strong chance that I'm invincible. Oh, there are some bad things happening in this rear view mirror. Kill me. Please kill me. Uh, all I'm doing is cutting tires. Hello? Hello? Oh, there's just shit flying everywhere. Gordon's out, I'm pretty sure. I think the engine's gonna blow in a second here. Let's just blow the engine. Yeah, putting... See, putting uh, Tony Reigns in the game is something that we are uh, really needing to do. That was the entire point of uh, the original playthrough, was to add Tony Reigns back into the game. And now you can apparently do that. Is there a way to convert uh, PS2 ISO into a GameCube ISO, and then you can play like a PS2 game on Dolphin? That'd be a way to be able to get uh, textures up to- Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no, that was Mark. That was Mark! Mark! Oh, they gave him whiplash. Oh my god! Mark! Why? Goodness gracious. I don't think you can lean forward in the seat and be able to avoid that one. Oh, that's rough. Poor Mark. 
I don't think he's walking away from that one. Somehow, he didn't DNF. Don't tell me. Is Did Mark Martin just win this race? No, Jeff Bodine won this race. Ah! Good run for Johnny Benson. The points leader picks up another top five. Dale Jr. finally gets a good finish in this playthrough. And Mark finishes third after actually breaking his neck. <laughs> wow. Jeff Bodine. When was his last win? When was his last win, dude? See, that's what that reminded me of was uh, Griff Dog's Dale What If series where he kills Mark Martin at Pocono. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's nothing but sadness when it comes to Mark Martin at Pocono. Okay, where is... Jeff Bodine must be a full-time driver. So that's Johnny's fifth top five. It's also his fifth top ten. Where is Jeff Bodine? I, he must be full-time. His last win was actually just in 1996. So even though he was an old fuck in the year 2000, even in 1996, how old was he then? Fifth... No, 43-ish. 43, 44-ish. Interesting. Alright, well, time for a road course. You never know what to expect at a road course. He didn't kill Mark? Well, <laughs> may as well have. Hmm. How many people have, like, watched, like, a majority of that Taylor Swift video yet? Because I don't want to spoil anything, but it gets interesting as the video goes on. Alright, so the fun part about Infineon is that, um, the, uh, topography of the track is such that you can, uh, jump. You can do a jump here. And you can do a jump in multiple different spots. Well... I mean, we, you can do a jump. Okay, I'm already dead. I'm already dead. I'm already dead. <laughs> the 83 car didn't finish where <laughs> you can do all sorts of interesting stuff, but the topography dies immediately. <laughs> okay. And your winner at Infineon... It's Bobby the Lion. See, this is what happens. This is what happens whenever you die too early. Whenever you die too early at a track, it doesn't shuffle the field. Like, even still, Rick Mass finishing 8th is big, but, like, you can tell that it's just defaulting to whoever qualified well because it's Bobby the Bonnie and Dale Earnhardt 1-2. It's basically guaranteed. It's basically guaranteed in this mod. This is my water. Hmm. Hey, we're into negative money. Let's go. Heading back to Daytona with negative money. What an absolutely blessed top four in points. Just look at this. Look at this screen. This is beautiful. Honestly, this is beautiful. Johnny Benson, Warren Burton, Kenny Wallace, Rick Mass. Wow. Anyway, next race. So we gotta sign team members, but we can just quick sign them like that. And now I gotta go all the way back, all the way back, and then we gotta go to the race weekend just like that. So, oh, and it wants me to get sponsors. Kmart, uh -huh. there we go. Give Kmart some advertisement this week at Daytona. Give them some uh, replays. We can put them into their commercials. What is my preferred drink? In the morning, I like to have a uh, double latte and single shot espresso in my uh, espresso machine. I'm currently using just Folgers French Vanilla, but I've got a local coffee brand, actually. I've got a local coffee brand I was gonna try one of these days. Elliot Sadler, Dale Jarrett, front row. Then, as the day goes on, I enjoy uh, clear American sparkling water. You can get it straight at Walmart. It's one of the cheapest drinks you can get. It's no sugar, no caffeine. Some good stuff. Um, as far as other drinks are concerned, I drink Diet Mountain Dew at work all the time because there's nothing else good there. <laughs> I enjoy uh, Coke Zero. I enjoy uh, 
French or French. Orange vanilla Coke Zero the most. And then mango Pepsi. If they could bring that back, I'd be happy. I'm gonna wait a lap. I'm gonna wait a lap just in case. There's a Madden 2002 PS2 All Madden card save file on GameFAQ. I was thinking about what we were gonna do after Tony Reigns and a uh, a Madden Madden was in the conversation. Another Madden playthrough was in the conversation. I hate alcohol. I don't drink. Oh, that's Kenny Wallace. Oh, that's all of us dead. Oh, Elliot didn't make it. Oof. Oof, we're still alive, I'm pretty sure. Yep, we're still alive, actually, just upside down. One car made it out of that. One car managed to make it out of there. Worst NASCAR paint scheme. Um... And half of JTG's paint schemes are just terrible. Sometimes they're cooking, other times they just have no idea what they're doing. Like the fucking, oh, the Kraft Macaroni car? That was some good shit. Who's that? That's Dale Jarrett. I miss Dale Jarrett. <laughs> Try to increase my depth as big as humanly possible. There's a very distinct possibility that's gonna happen. Alright. We have failed to die. <laughs> I have failed to die. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's a lot of death taking place. That's Ward Burton no longer alive. Hello. Oh, oh, nope, we're dead now. We are no longer a part of this. Hi, Kamikaze. Just wanted to say that I'm a big fan. I've been watching you for years and love your content. Don't take this the wrong way, but I love your rage videos. Those always make me laugh. Thank you, Michael S1286. I appreciate that you appreciate my content. Um, I haven't ranged a lot lately because I don't really... Oh, we killed Jeff Gordon. Let's go. Because I don't like watching races that make me mad. But thank you for the compliments. Thank you for watching. Beauty is subjective. Unless it comes to uh, Daryl Waltrip's Kmart car. And your winner at Daytona. Ward failed to finish. That's rough. Kevin LePage failed to finish. There were many DNFs in this race. Your winner is Jeremy Mayfield. Mayfield gets the dub over Jimmy Spencer by 55 seconds with 14 laps led. That is not the most laps led. It was, in fact, Dale Jarrett with 15. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Every race you enter in depth, the ghost of Junior Jones that appears and throws tires at your face. <laughs> mm, yeah. Negative $36,000. That puts who in the points lead? Still Johnny. Oh my goodness, Johnny Benson by a full race. He still only has five top tens, but he has the points lead by a full race. This is Johnny's season. Dale Jarrett's been climbing the standings. Mike Bliss has been falling. Yeah, J Jarrett's up to uh, up to six. He's getting a little bit, a little bit spooky there. Next race. Okay, I gotta sign the people. Back out, back out. Go to the race. I said go to the race. Yeah, we're gonna be doing that for the rest of the playthrough. <laughs> Oh, JC, I love your cat so much. I love your cat. Honestly, you've got the best cat. Honk if Phil Collins owes you money. New Hampshire! Jeff Bodine on the pole. <laughs> Another Jeff Bodine pole. I think that's like the fifth Jeff Bodine poll so far. We should check the uh, poll award. We should check the poll award standings. All right, time to turn this ship around. Oh, come on! I'm just trying to turn the car around while we're doing burnouts. Help. Yeah, you can go into depth into every game, I'm pretty sure, but the problem is... Is that like NAS? Oh my goodness, I tried to avoid that. I tried to avoid exactly that happening, and he just turned into me. 
I wanted to go another lap. I wanted to go another lap just so that we could make sure that the shuffle would happen. But no, John Andretti just turned left. John Andretti turns left. Oh. And, oh, no, we're dead now. <laughs> and we are no longer alive. Andretti did my job for me. No. JC's cat is sick. I'm so sad. This is killing me. When JC told me that his cat got attacked on the street that one day, I actually cried. I was actually crying at work when he told me that, boy. There are just some bad things happening on that front stretch. Oh, we get double camera angle of death. Look at that. Dale missed. Something happened to my car. Wow. Anyway. And your winner at New Hampshire. Oh, no, a bad race for Johnny. Oh, that's tragic. That full race lead in points is now gone. Jeff Bodine wins again from the pole. From the pole, Jeff Bodine. Gets the win over Daryl Waltrip. Wow. <laughs> legendary. Absolutely legendary. Yeah, John Andretti. John Andretti was secretly... He's also doing his own playthrough of DNFing every race. Okay, let's check out them standing. So, 166 point lead for Johnny Benson before New Hampshire. That points lead is now 93 over Jeff Burton. Oh, he's sneaking up. Jeff Burton sneaking up. He wants that point lead. Where is... J oh. oh, actually, Mike Bliss has fallen. Jeff Bodine has had an up-and-down season. Two wins. Six top tens, but he's only 19th in standings. How's it looking at the back? Oh, Dale's still back here. Oh, Gordon's 36! <laughs> Gordon's 36 in points. He could automatically retire. That would be amazing if that happened. All right, let's take a look at... Actually, hold on. Let's, uh... No, let's look in this screen. Okay. Rookie of the Year points. This is broken, so we'll just wait until next year for that. Three poles apiece for John Andretti, Jeff Bodine, and Johnny Benson. Amazing. And no Jackpot 5 winner. Can you believe it? 209 laps led on the season for Joe Nemechek. Hello? Video status. Rise of the Field Fillers, Carl Long Part 3 is coming together nicely. That's good to hear, Brock Beard. I'm very glad to hear that. I'm sure he'll be glad to hear that uh, Derek Cope got the win at Darlington. Okay, like, okay, 59 viewers. Let's just go back in time. Let's just go back in time and take a look at the season thus far. We started the year off with Ward Burton grabbing the Daytona 500 win, and then Steve Park took Rockingham a year early. Jeff Burton got a very boring Las Vegas win, which actually lined up with real life. Sterling Marlin won in Atlanta. Then Derek Cope won at Darlington. Wally Dollenbach won at the Food City 500. And then it was Carl Long taking the victory at Texas. Bonnie Labonte won in Martinsville, boring. Kyle Petty got the win at Talladega. Ken Schrader won at California. Joe Nemechek got the Richmond win, which happened in real life in 2003. Ricky Rudd won the All-Star Open, who cares? Jerry Nadu won the Coke 600. Jimmy Spencer got a win at Dover. Johnny Benson finally got his first career win at Michigan. Jeff Bodine won Pocono. Bobby Labonte at Sonoma. Pepsi 400 went to Jeremy Mayfield. How many wins is that for Jeremy? Is that his third career win, I think? New Hampshire went to Jeff Bodine, which is what we just did. So Jeff Bodine is on a hot streak right now. Let's find out when was uh, Mayfield's last win. Now that's his second career win. He had one in 98. And he is 13th in points. Not even that bad. And here's our top 10 in points as we head into whatever race we're heading into. Kenny Wallace, Mike Bliss, Jimmy Spencer, Je Matt Kenseth, Jerry Nadu, Jail Jarrett, Warren Burton, Rick Mass, Jeff Burton, and Johnny Benson at the top of the standings. <laughs> I don't want sponsors. I just want to go to the race. Let me go to the race. <laughs> No! I don't want to race! <laughs> Go to race! Okay. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> Was Kyle Penny wearing earrings? Ew. Goodness gracious. Oh, we're going to Pocono. Kyle Penny was like a real alternative guy. 
back in the day. There he is, as a matter of fact, on the front row with fucking Jeff Bodine, who is an unstoppable force of nature in this game. All right. Time for Pocono. Let's make it happen. Okay, crew chief, what I'm doing is I'm trying to cause the craziest results in this game as possible. And the best way to do that is to DNF in every single race that I enter. That's what I'm doing, crew chief. So, yeah, basically. Okay, we're not going to kill him this time. We're going to kill him on the next lap. Just make sure that the first lap gets done. That gets the best results that I've noticed so far. Decided you're going to Taco Bell. I've eaten so much today, man. I got Girl Scout cookies delivered yesterday now. I was like... Shouldn't have bought that. <laughs> Shouldn't have bought that. Alright. Here we go. Into the pile. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Okay. Jeff Bodine did not make it. So his up and down season continues. We are still upside down. Speaking of up and down. Speaking of upside down, can't help but notice that the car is upside down at the moment. Any day of the week that you're ready to reset me. All right. Who do I honestly think replaces Truex? The, in an ideal universe, it's uh, it's Ryan Truex that takes the 19 in the Cup Series. There's really no one else besides John Undernevichek that could change that can take the spot, which is annoying. I was thinking Chandler Smith was Chandler Smith is an option, I guess. I mean, but Truex would probably have to race for like another three years. Chandler Smith would be a great option. Anyway, that's the end of that race. There will be a lot of bonus points awarded. There will be a lot of bonus points and a lot of fucking carcasses being drug off the track. Oh man! Oh man! All right, and your winner at Pocono is Elliot Sadler. First career win. Wood Brothers goes to victory lane at Pocono in a photo finish with Chad Little. Wow. Bunch of Fords up here. Robert Presley, Mark Martin, Matt Kenseth. It's a very Ford-related day up here at the front. Exciting. Exciting stuff. As a Ryan Priest fan, you hate everything. At least you don't have negative points. Heh. <laughs> Can I just say that as of uh, February 28th, 2024, I have more points in the Cup Series than uh, All Talk No Talent? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's Brickyard time. It's Brickyard time. Ooh, blood on the bricks is a possibility. Johnny sells the points lead by 59 over Rick Mast. A great comeback for Rick Mast after having a rough stretch in the uh, late spring, early summer. Heading to Brickyard. Signing all positions. Going to the track. You'll get a much bigger paycheck if you shut the fuck up. It's a good quote. It's a good quote. While we're waiting for this to load, how's my uh, health doing here? I've got 7 out of 12 hours for uh, standing, and I've got 304 of 340 calories. It's a 5! A celebratory footlong cookie for an Elliot Sadler win. Thank you, Larry, for the 5. I will definitely use that on Subway if I remember. Thank you for the 5. Now for uh, me to get the shit scared out of me for when it pops up on a uh, stream last. Hey, speaking of uh, speaking of Larry, we're gonna be going to uh, the Indy 500 this year. So I already uh, talked to Dean. He wants to set up uh, something or just see him at the track or whatever. If anyone's going to Indianapolis this year for the Indy 500, we're gonna be there. It'll be fun. Can't wait. It's gonna be some good shit. 
Favorite Taylor Swift song I listened to during the reviews. My favorite, I'm honestly going to go with Cardigan. Style was really good, but I think I like Cardigan more. We still haven't gotten that five yet. No blood on the bricks on this occasion. I forgot about blood on the bricks, sorry. I forgot about blood on the bricks, fuck. I haven't saved in so long, we can't redo it either. Celebratory foot long cookie for foot Elliot Sadlerwin. What was that? What is this pronunciation? And kissing the bricks at Indianapolis in 2000 is. Jeff Bodine! He's so good, he can't be stopped! And another fucking second place for Daryl Waltra. He's too good! Jeff Bodine is too good! He's simply too good. Oh my goodness. Cannot handle this shit. Don't forget about choke points of Watkins Glen. I don't know. I'm so I'm so confused, man. Jeff Bodine in the fast black car. <laughs> he's too good, but the problem is is that he's inconsistent. He's so inconsistent because he keeps starting up front, so I keep killing him in every race. Either I kill him or he wins. There is no in-between for Jeff Bodine. That's his fifth pole. Five poles, the Bodine brothers, 16th and 17th. And Johnny is still in the points lead. And he still only has five top tens. Good lord, dude. Yeah, let's save the game. Haven't done that in a while. Thoughts on the Atlanta Cup race. It was stupid and I hated it. Sign the stupid team. Okay. Okay, go to the race. Thank you for going to the race. Off the team. <laughs> is the Tabasco car in this mod? No, it is not. They should have added that. What year was that? That was 98, like. 98, 99, wasn't it? It wasn't even 2000. He should have added that, though. There is a few things that could be done to improve this mod, but as it is... It's really good. Oh my goodness, was that Eel River racing on the front row? Go, go, go. I think it was. I think it was. Go into the S's, okay. Yeah, let's choke him in the S's. In the middle of the S's, there's just going to be absolutely nowhere for them to go. Oh, we have auto break on and we still barely made the corner. Are there alt schemes in this mod? Yes, there are alt schemes. We've seen a few of them. We saw the uh, black number 44. Um, Johnny Benson's uh, Daytona cars in this game. What else? Um, wait, it's, did you see that? Wait, it just auto broke in the corner going backwards. Wait, what? It's auto breaking while I'm going backwards. Huh? Wait a minute. So even though I'm going backwards on the track, it's still it's still auto-breaking me as if I'm going the right way? Wait, what? Okay, I'm just going to sit here. And the 83 car finished towards the back of the field. The 83 car finished towards the back of the field, you don't say. You don't fucking say. Wally wins again. <laughs> Wally finally got on the Watkins Glen win. He finished second to Mark Martin two years in a row at Watkins Glen, and now he finally gets himself one in the year 2000 over Kyle Petty. Who led the most laps? Kyle Petty led 47 laps, and he loses to Wally Dolan back. Mike Bliss finishes third. <laughs> I accept this outcome. Yeah, the goal was to DNF. That's true. It is true that the goal was to DNF. <laughs> I'm going to make a short out of that. I think I'm going to edit that into a, into a short. And I'm going to upload that later on tomorrow. Okay. Johnny Benson is still a points leader. Matt Kenseth with a mid-season run into the high pots of the standings. Look at this! He's got 10 top 10s, but only one top 5. Wow. 
Is Phil Collins a good NASCAR driver? We'll never know. We'll never know because he keeps DNFing on the first lap. We'll never know if he can actually race. Man, these guys, Roush is catching up to Johnny Benson, man. That's getting scary. And here comes Dale Jarrett, too. Mike Bliss is back up to six in the standings. Man, oh, man. Love how the uh, IndyCar season starts in less than 10 days and Dale Coyne Racing still hasn't announced their lineup. Did you see that they put... They're testing Colin Braun. Oh my goodness, dude. I had no idea how badly I wanted Colin Braun in IndyCar until they just randomly announced that he's going to be testing the Rick Ware Racing 51. That's fucking wild. I love it. Play this on a CRTV to get the full 2002 experience. You mean the full 2000 experience. I wish I still had my childhood TV because that thing was awesome. I used that TV for like 10 years. I don't know what happened to it. I think we just threw it out. Yes, the Colin Braun. The NASCAR Colin Braun. The IMSA Carl, Colin Braun. He tested with Dale Coyne. And I mean, if it went well, there's every chance in the world that he ends up driving for him. Either that or they're going to drag Tony Kanaan out of retirement. Uh, yeah, Stingray Rob must have gotten uh, fired. Well, maybe not. You never know. I, th I thought he got renewed. I thought Stingray Rob got renewed. Or maybe it was just a two-year deal. Oh, Okay, I'm not sure what happened to the camera there, but I don't like it. Okay, so I died, but Stuart and Earnhardt didn't. Throwing myself into the pack like that. Alright, well, it looks like I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, let's watch this replay. <laughs> wow. I died, but they didn't. Unbelievable. Some trouble and did some damage to his car. Well, I hope Callum Iowant gets in the six and like gets the pole and wins the race. That's what I hope for. Ah, oh, terrible run for Mike Bliss. But your winner in Michigan is Rick Mast! He finally did it! Rick Mast is finally a NASCAR Cup Series winner! Oh! What a finish! Let's go, Rick Mast! And he gets it over Earnhardt! Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, the camera got a uh, camera got stuck in a in a wormhole for a second. What's that done to points? Oh, he's up to second. Johnny Benson versus Rick Mast with the points. There's still a lot of races to go this season. How many uh how many more races are there? This is a uh, thirty. Two race, 34 races, right? 34 races, so we're coming up on the... We got 12 races to go this season. And I have to keep signing team members after every fucking race because they keep leaving. <laughs> they keep leaving because I'm not paying them. Yes, there are future drivers in this mod. Kevin Harvick and Kurt Busch are uh, possible drivers that can take over cars. Derek Cope, I'm pretty sure can, as he's a Bush driver, as a part-time. Part-time drivers and Bush drivers all can. So we got Tony Raines is in this mod. It's nighttime. It's nighttime here in Bristol. Kevin LePage on the front row. My mom is texting me. What's my mom got to say? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at this fucking text. <laughs> mom! What? What is this text? Hold on, I need a DNF while reading this. The college band paid first and was the worst band performance you've ever seen. Wow. I used to be in this college band. I, I was in this college band for exactly one semester. Then I was no longer in that college band. The first performance by the fifth grade band was a hundred times better than they were. It was 30 minutes of pure torture. Wow. Yeah, how about that? They were battling for that top spot as soon as the green flag dropped. What a great race. That is that is incredible. 
ultimately paid the price for it. You know, some of the I I was right. It's probably still the same instructor. Why, why am I not just speaking this? Can I text to speech this? Well, it's been a great night of please. Can I please text to speech this? There we go. We'll see you next week at the Darlington Raceway. Probably still the same conductor from when I was in college and took band for one semester. Period. She was awful. So it's no surprise. You know what? I probably could have just typed that faster than fucking reading it out like that, honestly. Wow. Anyway. Anyway, your winner at Bristol is Chad Little. He finally did it. Chad Little gets the win at Bristol over Bobby Labonte in a photo finish. What a finish. And Mike Bliss with the good run. How about that? How about that? Oh, yeah, F1's back this weekend. That's going to be fun, watching Max lead every lap. <laughs> 489 lead changes. Could you imagine? Okay, Benson's still a points leader, but Kenseth with a good run gets... Oh, his, finally gets his third career top five. But Johnny's still a points leader, and he still has got only five top tens! He hasn't finished in the top ten in, like, 20 races, and he is still the points leader. How? How, dude? I'm so confused by these results, by these statistics. Do I know the Need for Speed Carbon Out of Bounds glitch? I don't. I, sh I, I, I love Need for Speed Carbon. It's so not good. It's not anywhere near as good as Most Wanted, but like, it's just, it, it feels like home, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he just keeps finishing 11th over and over or something. He just keeps finishing 11th. You can't keep this man out of P11. Oh, we gotta check up. We gotta check up on the start. Chad Little goes from uh, winning last week to starting second to last this week. Kevin Harvick is desperate to get the three car next season. I think it would be funny if it took like 10 years for Kevin Harvick to get into the game. EA Sports Syndicate. I'm Daryl Walter, driver of the number 66 Kmart Ford. EA Sports, it's in the game. Boogity, boogity, boogity. What is that sound? Oh, it's a blown tire. I thought some something really bad was going on with the sound there. Okay, who's this in the lead? Oh, it's okay. I don't want to kill Marlon. I will kill Dale though. Oh dear! Nope, I just killed. I just killed Walter. All I managed to do was kill Walter. Very cool. Hello. It's Mrs. That lady's husband that directs it. It's inspired by the sounds of a pinball machine. Okay. They wanted to cry listening to high school plays play. I would love to see this. I was at work last night, so I couldn't go to this concert, sadly. Okay, we are still not dead. It must be noted that we are not dead. Ugh! Hello, friends. That's Wally. Wally's dead, but I'm not. Obviously. Kill me! Please kill me! Everyone else is dying, but I'm not. Kill me! Please kill me! Oh, there's Johnny. There's your points leader. Crowd surfing on top of me. The 30-year-old rookie in 2011. That'd be funny. Kill me! Please kill me! Why can't I die? The car is just built. This is fucking, you know, built Ford tough. More like built Pontiac tough. Goodness gracious. 
Goodness gracious, I'm still alive! We'll beat out the dents. I bet you will, crew chief. I bet you will. I'm just trying to blow the engine at this point. Oh, and it's not working. Oh, well. We'll fix as much damage as we can. We'll fix as much damage as we can. Oh, oh my god, I just keep killing everyone else. But not myself. We'll beat out the dance. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's Kenseth. I, I want to try and murder Kenseth so that he can fall in the points. I don't want him winning no championship. Be some shit if he won the championship before winning his first race, though. Okay, I can't help but notice that I've been burning out on the front stretch this entire time, and the engine isn't even, like, smoking yet. Dude. Please! I am unable to die. Jerry Nadu is, though. No point, he survived. I've never understood why people say that eating Taco Bell makes them shit themselves. I have never had digestive issues after eating Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. It seems like we had a lot of lead changes. <laughs> yeah, all it seems like we had a lot of lead changes. Really we had a lot of death, too. I'm gonna just gloss over that moment. Like, let's see how many DNFs there were. Oh, there weren't actually a lot of DNFs. Never mind. There were barely any DNFs in your winner at Darlington. If you'll recall, earlier this season, the winner at Darlington was Derek Cope. In the Mountain Dew Southern 500, your winner is... It had to happen at some point. Dale Earnhardt has won his 75th career race in the Southern 500. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Have I had the cheese? Yes! I had the cheese the other day, and let me tell you. The cheese was surprisingly good. I actually want it again. No! Johnny, why? Matt Kenseth, zero career wins, 30 career starts. Matt Kenseth is the points leader. With 10 races to go in 2000. Unbelievable, dude. Johnny throwing away the championship. Unbelievable. Yeah, no, the cheese was really good. I actually really liked it. Mmm. Mmm. I might have it again one of these days. It was so expensive, though. KFC is so expensive. I can get the same... I can get more food from Taco Bell for, like, half the price. Kenseth having a 2003 season. You're not wrong. He still has zero career wins, and yet here he is. Leading the point standings. Daniel Hemrick ass. Daniel Hemrick ass beat. Going on here. Eric needs to see this, yes. Imagine Matt Kenseth winning eight championships in a row in this, but getting no wins, and then he retires automatically after winning eight championships, and he retires with zero career wins, but eight championships. That'd be the most fucked up shit. That's like a Daniel Hemrick career right there. KFC stands for Cuff Fucking Ching. Probably, honestly. It's delicious, though. I love it. Sorry, I thought that was... I thought that was Bobby Labonte. I was aiming for the green car because I thought it was Bobby Labonte. What's my opinion on conservatives? They don't do anything, which is why they're good to vote for, because they won't actually do anything. So while things aren't going to get better, they won't get worse. So, you know, you got that going for them. Anyway, your winner at Richmond... Tony Stewart. Okay, well, things are starting to fall apart here late in the season. Todd Bodine got a good run there. Eight career championships, but no wins. That's the kind of thing that can happen in, like, an auto-sim type game. All right, well, everything's falling apart. I think that's Tony Stewart's, what, fifth career win? Where is he even in points? He's 20th. That is his fourth career win. So everyone else is going to be climbing the standings at this point, right? No, Gordon's still 35th. Earnhardt is 38th in points. Dale Jr. might retire at the end of the season because here he sits at 38th. Holy shit. 
That's brutal. Anyway, next race. Gotta sign stupid crew members for no reason. Stupid crew members to not actually do anything because we don't have pit stops. Man steals and making money from NASCAR team. Anthony got his got his first win of the playthrough though, so yeah. How many wins does Phil Collins have? I'm gonna go with zero is my guess. Zero. That one time you got a zero. No one knows that reference. Welcome to Ty Dillon Simulator. No kidding. Think of all the actual like decent drivers that need like a shot in the arm to get their career back on track that could be in the Rackley number 25 right now and instead fucking Ty Dillon sitting there doing nothing but wreck. My watch wants me to stand up. Alright, let's try to DNF while standing. I'm gonna do some sit-ups while we try to DNF. There we go. I'm gonna do some sit-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hang on. Hang on. I need to get back in the middle of the track again. You can almost see me doing the sit-ups. Let's, let's aim the camera down. All right, let's try and DNF some more. Hello, friends. Oh, of course I kill Mark. Of course, the first thing that I do is kill Mark. There, we're dead. Very good. Ugh. Do some sit-up. Oh, let's keep going. I'll keep it up. Feel the burn. Making it happen. Doing sit-ups. Good shit. With a very close oh, yeah. Seen a great race when it gets to the last lap and you still have no idea who's gonna win. Making it happen. Come on, watch. I am sitting. This fucking watch. This is literally the only reason I'm doing this. What do you want from me? There we go. Okay, it finally accepted it. There we go. Beautiful. All right. There we go. Okay. Now I gotta fix the camera. Okay. That was an aside. That right there is what we like to call in this business an aside. So, your winner at New Hampshire is not Mark Martin, because I killed him, and it's not Mike Bliss either, because why would he have a good race? No, your winner at New Hampshire is... Chad Little does it again over Coral Long! Oh my goodness gracious. Coral Long almost went two for two. Oh, Dale Jr. got a good finish. That's terrible. Oh, that's terrible news. I mean, if I just keep aiming for Dale Jr. every race, then we'll be able to do it. And then if Dale Jr. retires, someone will replace him in the A car, and then Dale Earnhardt himself will retire, and then things will get interesting from there. So I just need to just aim for Dale Jr. Kenseth is the point leader. Oh, God. Johnny's out of it, man. It's between J Jarrett and Kenseth now. That is cursed. As far as Dale Jr., where, where does that put him? That one good race only puts him 36. So if I just keep aiming for him for the rest of the season, then we'll be in shape. So let's save the game so that we can have a good shit here. Oh yeah, I remember that uh, exercise with KG video. That was a fun video. Did I delete that because it had copyrighted music, or is it still up? I, I think it's still up. <laughs> this is in poor taste. New Hampshire killed two drivers this year. That's true. Yeah, how about that? Dale Jr., Matt Kenseth, same rookie class. One of them's leading points. The other one is sitting here 36th. 36th in the standings. Okay, he's on the outside. I think that's him up there. Oh, wait, no. That's him in front of me all the way in the back. All right. Well, in that case, let's just turn this ship around. Yeah, and Gordon's back there, too, so, I mean, if we get, if things get really weird here, there's a distinct possibility that Gordon and Earnhardt could, uh, retire here. Oh! Did he get in that? Was he in that? He, he's, he's down on the bottom. Okay, 
Whoever that is didn't survive. I, I, I think that was a pretty good aim. I think that was pretty good aim. Is New Hampshire NASCAR's killing us track? No, I'm pretty sure that would be Daytona. It's either that or Langhorn. Oh god, that was Dale Jr. Whoops, well, that's Chad Little done. Okay, Dale Jr.'s all by himself, so let's aim for him. Let's let's prepare to aim for him again here. The exercise video is still up, yes! That makes me very happy. Very, very happy to know that that video is still up. Hello, Dale. Goodbye, Dale. Alright, he didn't die. Never mind. We'll hit him again next time. We'll try it one more time. We will try it one more time. One more time. Come on. Get him! Ugh! Hey! We got him! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Okay, now I need to figure out how to die. Let's get Gordon as well. Hell yeah, dude. Got Gordon as well. So there's Gordon. He's like in the middle of that pack. Oh, well. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, there are some very bad things that are happening now. Oh! Is Kenseth still alive? He is! You gotta be kidding me! How are you still alive, Kenseth? Man was upside down. Oh! I'm coming for you, Gordon. You can you can run, but you can't hide. Yeah, I guess jo Jeff Gordon actually still had the Rainbow Primary in uh, 2000. I didn't even know that. I thought it was done like in 98. He switched in 2001. Ooh. 2001 Space Odyssey. That's Johnny Benson. I just killed Johnny. So, so much for his championship hopes. You know what? I just cannot stop making things worse for myself. Honestly. There's no one to blame but me. Crew chief. That means you should... Oh my god. I didn't even cause that. I didn't even cause that. There was just... There was just two cars that killed themselves right there. I, I didn't even do that. That was not me. That was not me. That was... Oh dear. Yeah, that was quite an event, Barney. <laughs> that was quite the event. You could say that that was Gary Bradbury that I destroyed. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of DNFs. Of course, one of them is Johnny Benson. Let me guess, Matt Kenseth just won this race? No, another win for Stewart, but Gordon finishes well, so that's annoying. Okay. Well, we got Dale Jr., that's what I care about. That is what I'm concerned with at this point, is making sure at least one of these fools retires. You're mad? Well, I'm... I don't get mad, get glad. I don't know. Yeah, Carl Long, two starts. Carl Long, in two starts, has a win and a second. An average finish of 1.5. If this man does not get the three car next year, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, so. Where is Earnhardt in points? 36, 7th, I mean. Okay, that's a pretty good spot. That's almost lowest of full-time drivers, so. That is what I care about the most. Do -ba -do -ba -do -do. Okay, we haven't checked the points yet. Points, how's this situation? Kenseth leads by a lot, but some people are... Jerry Nadeau's closing in. Jerry Nadeau, your Coke 600 winner, is closing in. Yeah, Johnny's just dying. Now he's no longer getting 11th place finishes. He's getting like 31st place finishes. We need a good race from Johnny here. I am trying to get you fired. <laughs> Damn you, Dale. Both Dales are going to retire in 2000 if it's the last thing that I do. Look at these controls, though. I don't even know what the Z button is on this setup that I got going on here. Okay, your front row consists of Chad Little and Ricky Rudd. Pretty normal. Okay, where is Earnhardt at? I don't see him anywhere. He doesn't, he isn't jumping out of me, jumping out of me on the screen. Here. I can pretty safely throw myself into the front couple of cars, so. Alright, so let's take a look here. 
We've got... Mm, mm, he's on the outside in the middle of the pack, and Johnny's right there next to him, and then Gordon got it got pretty, pretty rough. I do like destroying the field in turn three, because they just eat the fucking pit wall. Oh, they're stopping already because of me. They're already making contact. Contact. They're already piling in. Oh, I'm not even going to be able to make it to the corner in time before they come back again. Go, car, go. No, Lavani. Okay, well, that killed me immediately. Great. Just great. Sometimes the car is invincible, other times I die from the first tap. It's just, it's just a roulette wheel. You never know what's gonna happen. That's the finish the fans came to see, though. Oh, Kenseth and Jared did horribly. That's big. Andy Houston was in this race. And your winner. At Martinsville. Come on, give us something good. Tony Stewart again. Rick Mass with a good run. Earnhardt finished really well. That's annoying. Oh, and Gordon finished really well, too. Well, I guess we'll take a look and see what the uh, shit looks like. I have not listened to Harry Styles. You are correct about that. I never said I hated them, though. I think One Direction's full of shit. Okay, so he's still 36th. I mean, that's a lot of full-time cars that he's in front of. And Gordon's here, too. Like, that's... That's pretty rough. So, that puts... Where does that put... Stewart is... Wow. The summer of Stewart, ladies and gentlemen. Stewart up to fourth in points gets, like, three wins in a row. And suddenly he's in the conversation for the championship. Man, it's, it's, it's not over yet. It is not over yet for this championship. Let's head to... Charlotte again. Thoughts on Metalcore. I love Metalcore. It's great. If I had any skill as a vocalist, I would do Metalcore. Yeah, that's decent. I can't I just can't do it for like a sustained period. I can do it for like, you know, five minutes out of the day. Oh, Johnny Benson on the pole, so just make sure that I don't kill the pole sitter. Just don't drive into the field head on. Just wait for him to go by and then get him in like the corner or something. We need to make sure that Johnny is safe. We need to make sure that Johnny is safe. Favorite metalcore bands? Whitechapel. Whitechapel. All that remains is good. Oh boy, we're flying now. But we're still alive, interestingly. Oh, uh, Terry Lavani did not make it. I'm afraid. Thoughts on Kyle Bush? Uh I I'm not I don't hate Kyle Bush anymore. I used to, but now I don't. And, uh, that's Bill Elliott. I don't want to kill Bill Elliott. I want to kill Earnhardt. Where's that eight car at? You can't hide from me forever, Dale. Where is he? Where is he? That's Gordon. That'd be a good one to aim for. Where's Earnhardt? He's trying to hide behind Chad Little. Fucking coward. Okay, so I could get Gordon or I could get Earnhardt. Let's see. Oh, people are on the... Oh my goodness, they're trying to LePage the field. Hmm. Okay, Gordon's hiding like a coward again. There's Dale! Oh, he's... Oh, he's... Oh, he got him! We got him. Absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Play to perfection. Oh, I'm so good at this. I thought I'd lost my touch after not doing this for so long, but I still got it. I still got it. I still got it. I keep looking at the fucking phone like it's the chat, like I'm mugging to the camera, but I'm not. It's the the, the camera is here, but the phone is over there. <sighs> okay, that's Jeff Bodine dead. Is that Gordon dead at least? 
Gordon dead? No? No? Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Well, we're still alive. Do I still like Ryan Priest? Yes. Yes, I do. Unfortunately, he's at a joke of a team. I, w I wish Chase Briscoe and Priest could go to a real team, but at least he's, you know, got a job. At least Priest has a job, let's be honest. We'll fix as much damage as we can. Okay, crew chief. Whatever you say, bud. Hello, friends. Oh, that's Gordon. I miss Gordon, and he, still, and he survived. Fuck. Do I need a co-pilot? Nah, I, I feel like I, I feel like I've got my shit figured out. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> that hard cut to multiple cars flying. That's pretty good. And there's your four wide racing. Let's get one more look at that. Let's get one more look at this. Look at this five wide, six wide action here at Charlotte. Fantastic, dude. Fantastic. So, yes, Dale's out. Looks like Gordon had a good race, which sucks. Stacy Compton over Mike Bliss. Rick Best third. Ted Musgrave in the 01 is fourth. Mark Martin fifth. What an ah combo breaker. It was such a good top five, and then sixth place had to rear its ugly face. That's a good result. I'm a hundred percent okay with that result. Haas is a joke in F1 and NASCAR. Wouldn't it be funny though if like Haas became like a super overpowered team in F1? I think that'd be funny. Okay, so we've made it to uh We've made it to Talladega. This is where the game breaks. Or at least where it used to break. I don't know if they fixed it or not. Oh my goodness. Okay, Johnny and Rick Mast are catching, uh, catching Kenseth. But the problem is, is that they have to go through five cars to get up there and be in this conversation. But with, what, five races to go this season? There is still eight cars within a race. Of this championship. Let's take a look at the poll award quick. Jeff Bodine with the most polls at five. Still no jackpot five winners. And Sterling Marlin has the most laps led on the season with 308. Wow. All right, time to head to Talladega. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Going to Talladega. It was fixed. Okay, well, that's good. I'm glad that it was fixed. That makes things much easier. Because I think we'd have to simulate that race. Because if I entered the race, it would crash the game. Is what I'm understanding. You're going to give me five wide racing. <laughs> True. Dal Winston, 500. Welcome. Alright, Mark on the pole. Stewart's back here. Who else is back here? Jeff Bodine is back here. It's either rain or shine for Jeff Bodine, I'm telling you. This was Dale's last IRL win. Has Dick Smith been hired again? I have not been paying any attention to the uh, crew members in this one. Yeah, real life NASCAR playoff could never. Steve Phelps could never. Give us a Jeff Bodine W. Jeff Bodine already has three wins on the season. Oh. Uh, okay, let's look for a red car. Red car. There it is. Oh, I, oh, I got him. <laughs> sniped. <laughs> Fucking sniped. <laughs> yeah. That was beautiful. Oh, we're still wrecking. We are still wrecking. You're going the wrong way. I'm at the wrong track. There's already a piece of someone's car back here. I don't even think I caused that. Yeah, there's been some insane shit happening with the weather lately. Did you see my retweet where I said that Bismarck set a record high of uh, 64 and then got 0.8 inches of snow? Oh, that's the Roush duo. I don't really want to take them out. Who else is? Do we see Gordon anywhere? Anyone see Gordon? Anyone see Gordon? There's Gordon. That's not Gordon. That was Kyle Petty. Well, we're crowd surfing now. But I might have gotten... Who is that? Oh! Oh, I got Gordon! Yes! <laughs> Nailed it. 
This is the only game where you can be on fire in the infield and you still nailed it. Yeah, all those guys led laps, but the only one that really matters is the last one. Absolute perfection. You love to see it. All right. Let's see. Steve Park didn't do so hot. Stewart's back here. Not a good run for him. Oh, I think Kenseth had a really good race. Okay, 15. Benson finished better than Kenseth. Your winner at Talladega. Dave Blaney, he did it! Oh, Dale didn't do it, though. No, his last IRL win. Dale Earnhardt failed to beat Dave Blaney for his final career win. Tragic. But it's the 93 car in victory lane, so it's not tragic. <laughs> How many cars were taken out? Several. Several cars were taken out. All right, well, what's that done to uh, the standings? Standings! Earnhardt is down to 39th, that's big. And the points leader is still Kenseth. Rick Mast is closing, Johnny's closing, Stewart lost a ton. It's pretty much a six car race at this point. I'm gonna have to start aiming for Kenseth because, you know, he and him winning the championship with zero career wins. You know what, that's pretty cursed, but at the same time, I would much rather have Rick Master or Johnny win this championship. So we just gotta aim for the uh, yellow car and aim for a red car. Yeah, it's a good thing this doesn't have a game over state where if you're too bankrupt to continue racing. It sure is a good thing that that is not a thing. That is in fact not a thing. Okay, er, Dale on the front row. Um, Kenseth is on the outside, and so is Earnhardt, actually. So is Dale Jr. and Kenseth, both on the outside there. Okay. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be a very, very interesting snipe. But I have an idea. Don't worry. I have a plan. We're going to go to the outside. We're going to look in. And the camera is not helping to... Got him! Yes! I got him perfectly, but I don't think I killed him. I hit him, but I don't think I killed him. I think... I don't know. This camera angle is shit, though. That's what I do know. Okay. Maybe the replay will help us out. Wow, what a shot. Yeah, I hit Kenseth perfectly. And Earnhardt, but they both survived. Fuck off. Watch him win the race. Jarrett with the win. M Rick Mass second. Rick Mass second. Earnhardt with a great fucking race, of course. Kenseth 14th. Where's Johnny? Johnny didn't do good. Johnny finished 19th. That's a shame. Okay. That's annoying. That is unfortunate. Okay, well, the question is, where does that put Earnhardt in the standings? Because, oh, that shoots him up to 36. That's so stupid. Rick Mass down to 18. Benson at 88. He's still in it. Johnny's still in it. Oh, my goodness, dude. It's only by a couple position between these guys here. And Ward Burton's closing. I'm going to save the game. Just in case. I am going to save the game. Dale Jr. warned us how bad concussions are. Yeah, I think there's probably going to be a few drivers that get a concussion after the end of this season. <laughs> Alright, next race is at Phoenix. That was not good that Dale Jarrett won that race, though, because I think he's in the conversation big time now. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Do, do, do. We've already been streaming for two hours and we haven't even completed season one. Can I just say that? Can I just say that? Alright, maybe I should have waited to see where everyone was in the standings. Maybe I should have waited for the flyby. Alright, it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, so. Hunting for a red car. Hunting for a Matt Kenseth. Hunting to make sure that we do not destroy Johnny Benson or Rick Mass. Okay, what is it looking like here? Um, I see Earnhardt on the outside. I think they're both on the outside. 
Will Phil Collins be racing in 2001? I don't know. That's for uh, that's for Kmart to decide. That's for NASCAR to decide and see if they uh, if they're okay with this continuing for another year. Okay. Um, there's Gordon. Earnhardt's still on the outside. I didn't even see Kenwood. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Earnhardt's hiding like a coward on the outside. Where is he? Hmm. That, that might... Okay, we might have a blood on the brick situation where the entire track is blocked. Steve Park did not make it. Oh boy, last week's winner did not make it either. There's Earnhardt. Okay, that's that spreads the field out a little bit. That thins the herd. What we've done here is thin the herd. Sears will sponsor Phil Collins. That is a great reference. Stewart's got the lead. Does anyone see Kenseth? Anybody see Matt Kenseth on this track? That is not Earnhardt. That is Earnhardt. Oh, uh, yes. Play to the perfection. Am I dead? I'm not dead. I thought I was dead. Okay. Looks like I'm not dead, so we can find Kenseth. We can hunt for Kenseth. On the hunt for Matt Kenseth. Gordon survived, of course. Where is... There's Matt. Oh. Uh. Made some contact. Ooh. Turn the car around, please and thank you. Is this on GameCube emulator? Yes. This is on Dolphin emulator. This is the only way to play this mod. Okay. Okay, so we slowed Kenseth down. Is that Kenseth? No, that's Kenseth on the outside. I thought it was Kenseth on the inside. That was in fact Ken Shriek. Darren's here. Hello, friend. Darian, do you have Discord? Because that's the platform that I'm always on. So if you ever wanted to talk, that's the place to do it. Okay, I keep forgetting where Kenseth is at. Ooh, gotta squeeze by him. <laughs> okay, so the leader comes by, and then Kenseth is pretty close to the leader. Alright, there's... Okay. Wow! Kenseth the Coward hides behind his teammate Jeff Burton to not get killed and uses him as a shield. Absolutely ridiculous. Coward Kenseth. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable, dude. Yeah, Rick Mast is in the championship conversation. Don't forget about that. But I'm hoping for Johnny, personally. Personally, my, my money's on Jonathan. Where's Matt? Where's Kenseth? Where is that fucking coward? Show yourself! No, that's Waltrip. That's Michael Waltrip that we just took out. I'm still alive, by the way. It really must be said that I am still alive. <sighs> <laughs> JC sent me a picture of the food. I should definitely look at that. That's Wally. As your oh, okay. I thought I was invincible, but as it turns out, I was not invincible. <laughs> Let's check a look at this Taco Bell. Yo, check that out. How do I show you this? I guess we do this. Where? Oh my! There's a Taco Bell. This is not what I would have gotten personally. Okay, you gotta, you got the, uh, the, the uh, gordita thing, right? And then that's a chalupa. That's probably a chicken chalupa, and then you just got regular heart shell. Not what I would have gone with. I still think that flatbread thing is really good. I really like the flatbread thing. I enjoy it a lot. Anyway. And your winner. At Phoenix. Okay, after we take a look at Dale Jr. being out. Was Kenseth... Oh, Gordon finished terribly, yes! Where'd Kenseth finish? No, Joni finished behind Kenseth. Kenseth had a great race, that's not good. Chad Little gets the win. 
Kyle Petty eighth, Ryan Newman ninth. What? Rick Mass with a terrible run. Okay. We might have to redo this because this race was shit. The super chats are helping me out. <laughs> Alright. So, that leaves the standings. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty bad. We might have to redo that, depending on where Earnhardt's at in the standings. Boy, he didn't even drop that much. Man, oh man. Because now it's really just between Jared and Kenza. But, like, Ward's in the conversation. Johnny's on the edge. I mean, I don't want to redo it because this takes so fucking long. The season's already taken two and a half hours to get through. So, like, I just want to continue. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the crew chief, everyone quits when you're in the negatives. Everyone quits your team when you're in the negatives. I mean, if we just take out Kenseth and Dale Jarrett. Welcome to the we just need to take out Kenseth and Dale Jarrett. And Dale Jr. And Jeff Gordon. That's it. That's all we have to do. Easy. Easy. It's Homestead. It's It should be flat Homestead too, right? Johnny only wins. Johnny only wins if you buy a channel membership. True. True. All right, here we go. Going around Flat Homestead. All right, Dale Jr. all the way at the back. So, let's just, okay, scoping out for Kenseth there. Dale Jr. all the way in the back, that's an easy. That's an easy shot right there. I can get this shot in my sleep. In fact, I'm going to close my eyes. And I'm going to try and hit Dale Jr. Let me just set up the shot first. Okay. Eyes are shut. Eyes are shut. Did I hit him? Did I get him? Did I get him? I'm watching the stream back. I don't think I got him. Let's 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 take a look at the replay. See who I hit. I have no idea who I hit. Be a lot of bonus Hold on. All the drivers who led a lap. Hello. Seemed like every time I looked up, there was a different leader out there. It was a busy. I got him! I got him! <laughs> With my eyes closed. With my eyes closed, he was involved, but he didn't die. What the fuck? He didn't die though. Okay, Jared finished horribly. Um, Ward finished horribly. Oh, this is, this is, okay, Dale Jr. 21st, that's not that great of a run. Johnny finished horribly. Gordon 11th, Kenseth 9th. Steve Park with the win at Homestead. Where is the fuck dude? Did Rick, oh, Rick Mass did terribly. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have done it with my eyes closed. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have done it with my eyes closed. Perhaps that's a redo, but if that's a redo, that means we redo the other race. I mean, this is going to be rough standings, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's basically... Kenseth is basically locked to a zero-win championship at this point. I mean, maybe if I take him out, Jeff Burton might get it. I mean, Rick Mass needs to win this race in order to win this championship, and Kenseth has to finish last. Yeah, this is a total disaster, honestly. As far as Earnhardt's points position... 37 that's that's reasonable let's just go for it i i want to get to the i want to get to the silly season i want to see what happens there we've got all play through to get someone else a championship just as long as dale jr retires that's what it that's what it that's what it really, that's what it makes a difference <laughs> we're definitely going to try and hit kenza i need to make sure we take out the 17 I would like to take out Jeff Burton, too, just to give Rick Mass the best chance. But, like, I mean, it's going to take a lot for Rick Mass to get this championship at this point. Okay, Johnny on the front row. He's already locked out of the championship, so that doesn't matter. Uh, Dale Jr. starting deep in the field. 
I didn't see Kenseth. Kenseth is just so hard to spot because there's so many cars that... Oh, never mind. He's right behind Dale Jr. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, Rick Mass finally got his first career win in this playthrough. So they're both at the back. Let's see. Let's see where they're at. Okay. Are they both? They're both... No, nah, I think Kenseth is hiding on the outside again like a coward. Yeah, I think Kenseth might get a championship with no win. There is a very distinct possibility that this is about to happen. And by the way, this is the year 2000, so he has zero career wins. Alright, well we got Dale Jr. Except he didn't die. Nope, he did die. Okay. Okay, he's dead. Very good. You'll love to see it. Ah, shit. Another Darian Gilliam Jigs. Unbelievable. How does this keep happening, man? How does it keep happening? Okay, let's sit here. Okay. Gordon's in the lead. No, that's Johnny in the lead. That's actually good. Um, as far as Kenseth... Oh, I missed. Okay, he's on the bottom. I'll try and get him next time. Do-do-do. Yeah, the, the, uh, Kenseth the Coward. We've coined that term as, as this uh, stream has gone on. Where is he at? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I, don't, I think he's on the outside again. Fuck. Yo, he's a crafty bastard. Ooh. That was close. That was real close. Kenseth, face me. Face me, you fucking coward. Where is he? I, s I don't see him anywhere, dude. He's hiding. Imagine that KG head moving for 10 hours. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. I like the KG head. Is that him? No, that was fucking, uh... That was Waltrip that I just took out. Okay, well that thins out the herd in any case. All right. Hmm. This is a great sound, by the way. I love the sound of these tires. No one. Oh, is that? Was that Dale Jr. just there? Wait. Didn't I kill you? Hold on. Where is Kenza? There he is. Fucker. Okay, I think that took him out. I think we have effectively destroyed Matt Kenza. Yeah. Okay. So it's looking a lot like Matt Kenza will not be winning this championship. Okay, so where's Jeff Burton now? <laughs> now we gotta find Jeff Burton. Whatever, fuck, yeah, that's, this, that has to be Dale Jr. Did they just give him a fresh car? They would. They would do that, by the way. That is something NASCAR would absolutely do, is give Dale Jr. a fresh car after destroying it in the first turn. That's Mike Skinner. That is not Jeff Burton. Oh, bad things are happening in that turn. Okay. That is also not Jeff Burton. Where is Burton? That is not Jeff Burton either. Where is Jeff Burton? Uh, um, um, hmm. I'm not seeing him anywhere. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Alright. I have no idea. Like, Jeff Burton has the least distinct paint scheme in this mod. So it's just so hard to pick him out of a crowd. Oh, there's so many blown engines. There's Dale Jr. He blew his engine again. May as well take out Gordon while I'm passing by. No reason not to. Oh, boy. Oh, take it easy. Slow ride. Take it easy. When you're near, 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 near. See, that's Sitgo, but that's a Sitgo 21. Someone saw Jeff Burton? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's a bad things taking place on this track. Yeah, Terrence didn't make it. Oh, that's Kenny Wallace. He survived. Bring it in if it's not running right. Oh, we're finally dead. Wow. 
Yeah, we've retired. We, we, we have indeed retired Dale Wall. Daryl, I cannot fucking talk, dude. I'm sorry. We have, in fact, retired Daryl Waltrip on this day. Yeah, look at this. No, I, oh, oh, got in there, and that's what took down Earnhardt right away. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. See, and the best part about the replay system in this game is that it usually points out moments where you run into other cars. That's what it usually puts into the highlights. So, we're getting all these great shots of just sheer death. Wow, that looked like the 1955 Le Mans camera moment right there. Kenseth's fucking 40th! Beautiful. Earnhardt is 34th. That's a great, bad finish for him. Where'd... Oh, Jeff Burton finished 30th! There's a chance! If Rick Mast got a good finish, he might be the champion. Joe Nemechek wins over Dale Earnhardt. Mike Bliss 5th. No! Rick, okay, Rick finished 12th. Maybe. There is a chance that Rick Mass got this championship. I don't think he did, but there's a chance. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. We need this Rick Mass championship. Your winner of the 2000 NASCAR Cup Series Championship. No! Fuck. Oh, Rick wasn't even close. Matt Kenseth is the 2000 NASCAR Cup Series champion with no career wins. No career wins. He is a champion. Over Dale Jarrett, who got his 23rd win. Rick Mast, a heroic season for AJ Ford Racing, but it comes up short. Jeff Burton falls to fourth. Joe Nemechek with his two wins gets fifth. Jerry Nadeau with his one win gets sixth. I think Jerry Nadeau is, in fact, the highest finishing Hendrick driver in points. Dale Earnhardt did not get his 76th win. He finishes seventh in points. Elliot Sadler got a win and finishes eighth. Johnny fell all the way to ninth. Tony Stewart with his three wins finishes tenth. And then here's the rest of the standings. Eel River Racing, six top fives, nine top tens for Mike Bliss falls in the standings. Dave Blaney got a win. Let's just go through the stand schedule. Ward Burton started the season off with the Daytona 500 oh, and got Steve Park his second career win in the Subway 400 a year early. Jeff Burton got the win at uh, Las Vegas and Marlon won at Atlanta. And then Derek Cope in a part-time Budmore 15 got the win at Darlington. And then Wally Dollenback got the Food City 500 victory. After that, at Texas, Carl Long was the winner. And then, bottom of the money, Martinville was boring. Kyle Petty wins at Talladega the next week. Ken Schrader got a, his first win since 93. I'm pretty sure. Then Joe Nemechek got his first career win at Richmond. Ricky Rudd won the All-Star Open. Who cares? Jerry Nadeau got his first win at the Coke 600. Dover went to Jimmy Spencer. Johnny Benson got his first career win in Michigan. I think that's a home track win, if I'm not mistaken. Jeff Bodine won at Pocono. And then Bobby Labonte got the Infineon win. Daytona went to uh, Jeremy Mayfield. And then another win for Jeff Bodine at New Hampshire. Elliot Sadler got his first win at Pocono. And then Jeff Bodine kissed the bricks at age, what, fucking 50... One, I'm pretty sure. Wally got his second career win at Watkins Glen. Rick Mast finally got his first win in Michigan. Chad Little win the Sharpie 500 for his first career win. And then Dale Earnhardt finally got himself his 75th. Tony Stewart, late bloomer. Summer Stewart got the win at Richmond. Chad Little got another at New Hampshire. Then it was Stewart and Dover and Stewart and Martinsville. Just the month of August or like fucking, I don't know, August or September belonged to Stewart. Stacy Compton got his first career win at Lowe's. Dave Blaney got his first career win at Talladega. Dale Jarrett got a win at uh, Rockingham. And then Chad Little, for his third career win, got the dub at whatever track this is, Phoenix. Steve Park got another win at Homestead. And then Joe Nemechek finished off the season with a win. So, yeah. How many first career win, career, how many first time winners? Um, Wally. Carl Long, um, I think Joe Nemechek got his first win. 
but I'm not 100% sure. Jerry and Amy will know for sure. Johnny. Um, Jeremy Mayfield got his second career win. Elliot Sadler, number five. Rick Mass, number six. Chad Little, number seven. Um, Stacy Compton, number eight. Dave Blaney, number nine. Number nine, large. And if Joe Nemechek hadn't gotten the win yet, then it's ten even. Joe. Where is Joe? Where is Joe? Damn, he finished fifth in points. No, he had a win, so it was nine season. Nine first-time winners in 2000. Unbelievable. So we are indeed going to save the career mode because one of the reasons that I was destroying Dale Jr. every week is because I wanted to force him into retirement so that we could get an interesting driver in the eight car, and he finished the season 38th in points. So there is a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Let's find out the silly season. All right. Robbie Gordon is replaced by Andy Santer. Dave Marcus is not replaced, and Mike Dillon replaces Gary Bradbury. I think that because there's so many auto-retires, Dale Earnhardt did not auto-retire. I thought he was guaranteed to auto-retire after the first season. That's interesting. There, It's, it's going to take a lot of effort. It's going to take a lot of effort to get Dale Jr. to retire. Continue without saving, damn it. Yeah, Robbie Gordon, for some reason, is usually guaranteed to retire right at the start, even though his career hadn't even begun when this shit happened. Like, look at this. Terrible. Absolute shit. Go away. Get this shit off my screen. But thankfully, this is pretty speedy. This uh, emulator loads shit and, you know really speedy we can keep doing this i can do this all night baby we've been at this stream for two and a half hours already i can go all night i can go all night and these are bad silly seasons as it is anyway the ideal silly season is three drivers retiring and three drivers replacing them and then you get shit like this where jason jarrett replaces gary bradbury phil collins does not need any sponsors he is fine to just keep losing money every week. We're already into negative 431,000. Oh, Justin Labonte can take over cars in here. Chad Chap into the 71. I don't know why Dale isn't auto-retiring. This is weird. This is weird. I thought Dale was guaranteed to auto-retire after the first season. But we haven't seen him or Dale Jr. Fuck off with this garbage. <laughs> Unbelievable, dude. This is fucked up. My head completes 18 cycles per minute. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Adam Petty to the 13. No. No, we're not doing that. If Adam Petty is getting in the series, he's going in the three car. Okay, something tells me that we're not going to get any good, uh, any good replacements. Maybe I have to reset the game before it'll do it. Okay, Adam Petty to the 71. Okay, that's actually pretty based. Then Elton Sawyer in the number 41. That actually is kind of based, but no. Doobie 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 doo. Changing all the shit around. Blah 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 blah. It's the same shit over and over. Alright, well, I guess we'll just... I guess we're gonna have to accept this. Because... For some reason, they keep retiring Robbie Gordon and replacing these guys with nobody. So, uh, it's looking a lot like we're stuck with Dale Jr. for another season. And we're stuck with Dale Earnhardt for the 2001 season, which is just unusual. Dumb is what I would describe this game. Yeah. Well, okay, let's just get these stupid guys out of the way. We're gonna accept this outcome just to get these cars out of the way. This does mean there will be no Dave Marcus car for the rest of the game, but this does open up the field to some more, you know, extra drivers. So I'm going to accept this universe because it's obvious that they're not going to retire Dale Jr. So <laughs> it's obvious they're not going to retire either of the Earnhardt's, so we'll just go with that. So there you have it. There you indeed have it. Matt Kenseth. Where is Matt Kenseth? There he is, starting season two. Zero career wins, but one career championship. Unbelievable. Okay, let's sign some team members that'll leave immediately after this race. 
Beautiful. All right. Let's go. How many seasons do I plan on doing tonight? Well, I don't have to be anywhere tomorrow, so we could go all night if necessary. I was thinking two seasons, but like, you know, you know, this shit just takes so fucking long. I just don't understand why it takes so long to do this. Well, here we are. We'll probably get through two seasons. Maybe I'll do three seasons if I'm not tired. You fuck me all night long. No Chicagoland or Kansas in this game. That's true. Because they didn't exist. You know what would be really cool is if they added those tracks as the years went on. So, like, by the time that we, you know get to 2001 those tracks are added that'd be awesome any good hotel stories what has happened recently hmm what has happened at the hotel lately well everything's a total disaster because they fired all the housekeepers so there's no one to clean the room so there's no rooms and laundry is backed up so bad that it's like an actual literal nightmare in there. So basically everything is bad. It's just a bad time in general at the hotel right now. Oh, we got him! Straight back to destroying Dale Jr. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Wow, right into the middle of him. Yeah, what if Dale Jr. I mean... No, Dale didn't make it. Dale's smoking. He's going to DNF. <laughs> and so it was that Dale Earnhardt DNF'd the 2001 Daytona 500. <laughs> right to him. He was in the middle. He tried to have two cars next to him to avoid getting hit, but it, but it failed. He failed. He couldn't do it. Oh, Ward's flying. Oh my goodness, man. Can we get a different camera angle? Or are we stuck with the same camera angle? Nope, we got it. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. Mayfield didn't have a good time. Wow. That was brutal. Until next time. Okay, Dale Jr. finished last. Oh no. Don't tell me. Don't tell me Dale Earnhardt just won the 2000 Daytona 500. Johnny Benson has won the 2001 Daytona 500. <laughs> Massive dub. Massive dub. Dale was blown up. I saw it. How'd he finish 22nd? How'd he do it? So this is what should have happened in 2000. Over Robert Presley in a photo finish. Most laps led went to Ward. And then Mike Bliss in the Eel River car. Don't forget about him. Well, that is an absolutely blessed finish to this race. This is how this should have gone. This is how the actual IRL Daytona 500 in 2001 should have gone. Dale Earnhardt surviving and Johnny Benson winning that. I'm going to save the game, actually. I've decided, <laughs> I've decided that we are saving. Oh, yeah, you're right. Daryl's still on the track. He didn't retire. He's like, I got one more in me. I got one more in me. So who do they put in the booth? Dave Marcus retired. Maybe they put Dave Marcus in the booth. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I also enjoy this mod for not having fantasy drivers. If we could just get a regular mod for NASCAR Thunder 2004 that doesn't have fantasy drivers and just has a shit ton of Bush Series drivers, oh, that'd be so hot. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, that'd be pretty hot, you ask me. Green flag. That was indeed Johnny's second win. He won Michigan last year. So that is two seasons of wins in the row. There was also Gary Bradbury retiring and Robbie Gordon. I don't think they'd do so hot in the booth. Robbie Gordon specifically. Oh, I got Kenza. I took out Dale. Dale getting to the Rockingham race in 2001, and this is how it ends. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. Maybe it was meant to be. 
Wouldn't it wouldn't have sucked if like Dale survived and like had the worst season of his career? That would have been some fucked up shit. Oh, Dick Bergen in the room. That'd be a good one. Who else? What are you doing? Scott Pruitt, you psycho! Holy fuck, dude. Scott Pruitt with a death wish. Got him! Got his ass. I think he survived, though. Fucker. Ooh, Buddy Baker in the booth. Nice. Oh, just hope Dale's okay. He's alright, isn't he? Yep, we have lost Dale. Dale did not make it very far in this one. Ooh, okay, I'm dead. Well, so is Rusty. You gotta use some of that grip later as the you wrecked your car text comes onto the screen. Yeah, you fucking saw that shit with Scott Bruin. What a psycho. I say as I have driven backwards on the track every race thus far. Okay, well. Dale did not make it. And your winner at Rockingham is... Matt Hansen. He finally got his first career win. Wow. Weak. That is very weak. Okay. Matt Kenseth gets his first career win. Any midnight snacks? I'm I'm still hungry despite the fact that I've done nothing but eat today. He finally won. Yeah. Alright. Well, let's take a look at the standings. After that one. Robert Presley has the points lead. <laughs> Jasper Motorsports. Has the points lead over Brett Bodine. And Brett Bodine Racing. Amazing. Johnny has fallen to 11th after that. He must have finished terribly in the last race. Uh, Alright. Uh, he won his first series. Yeah. Kevin Harvick staying in Bush. He was supposed to go to the 30 car in 2001. So what the fuck? Where is he at? Why is he still in Bush? Ooh, I can go for some Taco John. That sounds good. Mm. Yum. NASCAR Winston Cup Racing. NASCAR Winston Cup Racing comes to us from Round Vegas. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. Here is what I am going to do. I need to go to the bathroom. So I am going to park the car in the middle of the road. I'm gonna park the car middle of the road I mean is the car okay? yeah the car is okay but it won't be in a minute I'm gonna go to the bathroom and we're gonna see what happens actually I think I'm just gonna throw the car into the field and then see what happens here just hope that we get some death you can have some fun replays hello friends yes all right DRB We are not dead. That's unfortunate. But I do see, I saw some cars on the mini-map there, so someone died from that. Let me make sure that I am in frame. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that camera angle. Yeah. JC had a great, that was a great idea by JC to get a lamp, though. I should definitely invest in that. Alright, let's get back to hunting for Dale Jr. There he is. Did I get him? No, I did not get him. I thought about getting some uh, more Girl Scout cookies to eat, but I've eaten way too fucking much today, man. I'm going to gain so much weight from the day. Is that Dale Jr. all the way over there? Oh, I got Gordon. That's, that's good. And we're dead. Fuel's down to half. 
We're still not fucking soft. Alright. Oh, oh man, we killed Mark. I got I got Burton stopped up on the top side there. That's a uh, that's messed up right there. Is what that is. Oh, Mark finishes last. Your winner at love, la la, Las Vegas. Matt Kenseth. What the fuck? Man didn't win a single race last season, and now he's got two wins. The course correction. The fucking course correction. Okay, fine. I guess Matt Kenseth is going to win every championship in this. Mike Skinner to the points lead, still with no career wins. He had an awful season last year. Kenseth's up to third, looking to defend his championship. Man, this sucks. <laughs> this is terrible. This, this the first season was so much more entertaining, and now Matt Kenseth is just going to win every race. Yeah, he's going to win like 10 races this season and like finish second to someone with like one. Zero career wins Matt Kenseth with his first championship and now he's got two to start 2001. I don't know why I'm whistling all of a sudden. Hey, is that Dale Jr. starting in front of me? Why, yes it is. Well, that's good. Oh, that's good. That's exactly what I like to see. All right. Do you need a co-pilot or something? How about a navigator? Uh... Oh. Anyway. What's up, chat? How's everything going in chat land? Everyone have a good uh, weekend? All I did was work. Took out Daryl Waltrip again. Earnhardt's in the wreck, but he's still alive, of course. I'm still upside down. That's annoying. Daryl burning from both ends. The yep. Itself, Dale Jr. just casually driving away, just 100% fine. I wanted to make it so that the ADH thing underneath my camera was, like, different. It was, like, something that was always changing, but I didn't have enough time to make something before the stream started. Is that Dale? That is not Dale. That's Dale. Ugh. Got him. How are you still alive? What? I'm so confused, man. NASCAR reported to have spent five million dollars on Netflix. Oh, they could spend five million dollars on Netflix, but they can't increase the purse amounts. Damn. That's interesting. Where's Earnhardt? Is that him on the pit lane? Okay, so that's Earnhardt on the pit lane. So, I don't know if that means he's gonna get trapped a lap down and he won't be able to win, or if him being a lap down means that he's guaranteed to win. I'm still not 100% sure how that works. Oop. Oh, that's Johnny Benson driving straight into that wreck. But he survived. He did survive that, so that's good. Make a top five most Mickey House championships. Uh, you wrecked your car. Last year's up there. 2018 is up there. 1950 is up there. <laughs> I just love how it comes in the frame. <laughs> I just love how the car just scoots in the frame. It's so good. Every single time. It never gets old. And your winner at Atlanta is Joe Nemechek. Fourth career win for Joe Nemechek. Rick Mast fifth. Very good, very good. Nice. Johnny finishes 19th. Terrible run. Earnhardt finishes 34th. Love to see it. Gordon finished horribly. Even better. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, 2020. Can't forget about fucking 2020. Oh, I'm getting 
tired. I haven't even taken my pills yet and look me on. Joe Nemechek to the top of the points. Look at that. What a, what a career Joe Nemechek's putting together. Finished fifth in the standings last year, and now he's coming back at him with a win early on in the season, and he's making it happen, dude. He is making it happen. Mike Skinner back to second. But he's got a much better start to his season this year than last year, let me tell you that. Last year was rough. Last year was rough. Rough. Rough like a dog. Bark, bark. Can dudes wear makeup? Absolutely. I was thinking of putting on makeup once as like a aesthetic thing for a music video, but I haven't been recording music for a year. Because I keep saying I need, oh, I need to buy a new guitar because mine sounds like shit. And then I never actually actively go out and try to buy a new guitar. This is Joe Moore, so I'm just sitting here not making music. What a front row. Kenny Wallace, Jimmy Spencer. And Scott Pruitt has just been a part of this playthrough this entire time. It really must be said. It really must be said. Scott Pruitt has indeed been on the racetrack for all these races. We're just backing it up. Backing it up. He's trying to escape, but it's not going to work. He thinks he can escape by wiggling his way out of the situation, but it's not going to work. Ooh. Big whip. You all right? No, I'm not alright. I have, in fact, wrecked the car. People still talk about Dylan Mulvaney. I don't even have an opinion. Look at this. Wow, last year at this race, me and Scott Pruitt made out on the front stretch. Now some, now some very interesting things happened on the front stretch this time around. Yeah, Scott Pruitt finished last. And your winner at Darlington is... Dale Earnhardt, he got a 76. He got a 76. That's another win. Two straight Darlington wins for Dale Earnhardt. Wow. Benson 15th. That's a good run for him, finally. Bill Elliott 3rd. Anyway. Standings. Joe Nemechek is still a points leader. Kenseth is dead ass going for three for eight straight championships. Look at this dude. Johnny up to fifth. That's big. So that is indeed Dale's 76 win. Wow. All right. Phil Collins is older than Dale Earnhardt. I just found that out by looking at this. Because he was born in January 31st of 1951. Meanwhile, Dale was born April 29th, 1951. Phil Collins is older than Dale Earnhardt. I didn't know that. Anyway, uh, what were we doing? Going to the next race? No, we were going to change the paint scheme because everyone's bitching in the chat. Features, paint scheme. We are going to go with... Yeah, we were going to go with Dodge because now Dodge is in the series. Plane. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right, we could take off decals, probably. There. What the fuck? Why is the roof number still green? Wait, what? Huh? Why is the roof number still green even after I told it to be not green? What? Uh -oh. What the fuck? What is going on? You you were seeing that shit, right? None? What do you mean none? There's there's shit all over it. Look at how many look at how many decals there are in this car. What is happening? Man, this shit is broken. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go to the next race before anything gets worse. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible, the Scott Penny quotes. <laughs> nice. 
Dale Earnhardt would have been the Jim Cornette of racing. That is quite the comparison. And I think you're correct, actually. It would be cool if in career mode there would be some dodges that show up, but, like, I know how difficult it is to make this mod to begin with, like... How difficult it is to, like, put this shit together as it is. I don't want to add any extra stress for the workers that were... the modders that were making this. I just want... Casey to be in the game. That's it. That's all I ask for, is for Casey to be in the game. It's a glitch with the Dolphin emulator. <laughs> hey, when you reach 2007, will you be able to race Toyota? This was an exciting last you never know. That was shit, but I haven't saved in a while, so we're kind of stuck with it. That's Rick Mass that died. Dale Jarrett win. Boring. Johnny Benson, 7. Good run for Johnny. Good run for Johnny. Save your tar. Tires! Save this game so that we can uh, back out of bad results if we can, if we need to. All right, next race is at Texas. Let's sign some crew members that I won't be paying. Next race, tires. Yeah. Gone. I'm so hungry, but all I've done today is eat. It's all I can think about. It's all I ever think about, man, is eating. Welcome to Texas Motors. Uh, Sterling Marlin, Ricky Rudd front row. And not much interesting to the field here. I saw Earnhardt on the outside line, so maybe I'll try to aim for that. Still trying to retire uh, Dale Jr. Opinion on Carson Hosevar. I never had a problem with him until Phoenix last year. And now I think he's kind of a dumbass. Uh -huh. mm. See, listen to me burping. Sitting over here pretending like I'm fucking hungry. And I'm just burping like a fucking maniac. I think we're dead. Nope. Hold on. I think we were alive, actually. Hey, we're alive. If the car would stop tipping over upside down and the camera would stop flipping. Alright, so we took out Marlin and we took out Kenny Wallace. That's a shame. Would I eat a steaming, greasy steaming pizza with a heart emoji that stretches and savory pepperonis? Absolutely. That is Kyle Petty. That was not Dale Jr. I thought it was Dale Jr. and it was not Dale Jr. Oh boy, we're still flying in here. Yep, Dale Jr. just 100% flying down there. Well, that's a lot of DNFs. But none of them were Dale Jr. So that sucks. Hosevar got rushed like Zane Smith didn't. Alright. Yeah, Dale Jr. is 100% fine. Gordon finished bad, that's good. Bill Elliott has finally won again. Kenseth second, but Bill Elliott with the win. He's back in victory lane at last. It's taken years, but Bill Elliott gets the dub at Texas. Chuck E. Cheese pizza is vastly underrated. I've only had Chuck E. Cheese pizza once. I don't even remember how it was. I don't even remember. So, can you believe that Matt Kenseth is still at the top of the standings? Dude. <laughs> He's unstoppable! Ward's up here. He hasn't won since the Daytona 500 last year. Man, man, oh man. Okay, so who's... Oh my god. Mark Martin, low in points. I'm not even trying to do that, and yet here he is in retirement zone. He's in the fucking retirement zone, and yet... Mm, unbelievable, dude. Stupid and dumb. Stupid and dumb. Yes, Little Caesars is the best. I agree. I agree with that sentiment. I'm tired, I'm cold, I'm hungry, despite the fact that I've done nothing but eat today. If I weighed myself right now, I'm probably over 150. As a matter of fact, 
As a matter of fact, I'm going to sit my car in turn three, and I'm going to go weigh myself. Now, you got to remember that I'm going to be wearing clothes, so it's not true weight. Eh. Hello, friends. All right, that should cause a good pile-up. Oh yeah, they're 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 piling up. Is the car okay? Okay, so it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. I'm one to forty-eight point eight. But I was as low as, uh, oh, someone else is dead behind me. Got someone dead in front of me and someone dead behind me. It's just corpses littering the track. Yeah, but I weighed... Oops. Alright, looks like I'm dead. I weighed like 142 point something earlier this week, so... I kind of want to get back down there. Boy, do we see a lot of different leaders. A lot of different leaders. Okay, well, oh, Bill Elliott, after winning, immediately dies. And your winner at Martinsville is... Kyle Petty! Another win for Kyle Petty! Yeah! What a, what a massive victory this is. Absolutely massive. Kyle Petty gets another win, and Dale Jr. climbing the standing. Number 94 McDonald's Dodge Forever and Have. Wouldn't that be some shit? Alright, now the lower drivers and points. Ken Schrader's deep in the standings. Yeah. Wowzers. Anyway, Ken's at the top of the standings. John Andretti's up here. He hasn't done anything this entire playthrough, other than get four poles. Nice. Mike Bliss, 10th. The comeback for Eel River Racing. The comeback. Alright, well, we'll sign some team members. Mm, yeah. McDonald's. Larry McReynolds calling it McDonald's. Michael McDowell. <laughs> Michael McDowell. Anyway, this is... I already forgot what track we're at. Talladega. All right. I'm at the wrong track. All right. Well, this should be good. Big wrecks at Talladega are basically guaranteed just because of how fast we're going, so... And how close together they are to starting. here. We've really been streaming for three hours. Fuck. Mmm... -hmm. Stop yawning. This is like four hours before I've been going to bed lately, too. Like, I have no excuse to be this tired right now. Oh, I see Dale! That's not Dale! That's the 21! I just keep taking out Daryl Waltrip every week! <laughs> I keep murdering Daryl! Hello? Oh, I got the, uh... I got the, uh... This shit. <laughs> Yay. You wrecked your car. A lot of lead changes. A lot of lead changes. But the only one that really matters is the last one. What does this camera angle do? You can't see anything happening from this camera angle, thank you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I keep taking out Waltrip. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness. Everyone's flipping. Everyone's just constantly flipping. Yep, another terrible finish for Daryl. Terrible finish for Ward. And your winner? At Talladega. Mike Skinner, he did it! He finally did it! He finally did it! Mike Skinner is finally a NASCAR Cup Series winner! Wally Dolan back ninth. He finally did it. But that wasn't actually game reshuffling it. You saw that uh, everyone had uh, actually had a low laps led, like 60-something laps led. That's the evidence that you need to know that it didn't actually... Uh, Shuffle the results. That's just a default finish from the game. Either way, Ken's at the still a points leader. Mike Skinner finally career win number one in his 153rd start. 
Massive dub right there. Ward loses a bunch of spots. That sucks. Doobie, doobie, doobie. Oh, good question. Uh, how about the uh, rookie award? Are there any rookies? Yes, there are rookies. Carl Long leads the rookie points. Jimmy Johnson made a start at some point. Interesting. That car is hot. I fucking love the Exedrin number uh, 92. I adore that car. Alright. Time for California. Engine's blown. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm gonna miss the solar eclipse. There's none of it here. I got to see the uh, I got to see like half the eclipse in 2017. <laughs> what the fuck happened to the uh, stream layout? Wait, why is there a big gap right here? What the fuck is this shit? There's a big gap. What happened there? There shouldn't have been a gap there. Bruh. Well, I'm gonna make my camera a bit bigger in that case. There we go. Alright. Okay, back to this. Yes, thank you. Shield shout out to What If for helping me get this set up because if he hadn't uh, shared with me where the ISO was, we'd be playing this without. You know, the update. This wouldn't be happening right now if it wasn't for what ifs help, so very glad. Thank you. They considered making act duels uh, actual points races during this time. Well, now they have uh, duels getting points. Oh, goodness gracious! Friends, oh, that's Dale. I almost got him. That was the most interesting flyby that we've done yet. Because I just went down the middle of the track and a bunch of people passed me left and right. No one hit me. Need to be a bit where I copy the uh, head movement on stream. Yeah, we can do that. Oh my god, it's, it's reversed for me. Oh my god, it's the loop is so bad. Oh my fucking god. I need to go left when it goes right. Oh my god. I can't do it, man. It's fucked up. Hold on. I need to do the opposite of what my brain is telling me to do. Okay. Here at EA Sports and MRN, thanks for joining us today. Next up is Richmond. <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. Who died? I don't know what happened. Look at that flyby, dude. I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, I did not run into Dale Jr. Look at that. Look at how close I came. Anyway, Kenny Wallace died, and your winner at, day at Cala Fontana Club is Steve Park got him another one. Another dub for Steve Park. That is his third win of this playthrough yet. Goodness gracious. Huge. Huge stuff. Did I buy the wrong? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bought it. <laughs> the crew chief cares more about tires than he does me. That is true. That is true for all these games. Okay, Joni Machek continues to lead the points. He's had a great season so far. Look at this. Four top tens, average finish of 13.4. Kenseth trying to repeat. Steve Park, that was his third career win. Actually, he had no wins before this. I thought he won a race in the late 90s. All right, well, I guess I'm stupid. I thought, didn't he fucking? No, he won 2000 Watkins Glen, wasn't it? Yeah, so that was his first career win last season. Steve Park turning into like a legendary driver in this playthrough. Dream of Californication. Psychic spies from China try to steal your modulation. 
What's the bottom face? <laughs> the bottom face is from a classic calculus video. People reminded me that the calculus videos existed last night and I went back and watched them and I I just love this gif. It is so good. Okay, Dale Jr. is on the inside. Alright. Thanks for coming out to the stream, Dean. I don't have to work tomorrow, so we may go all night. We may go all night. Pull an all-nighter. Then I might actually get some food. I might actually get some food. Do I like any emo rap? Um, can't say that I know any off the top of my head. Ooh, Dale's on the outside, the coward! Fucking coward. Damn it, Dale. Stop hiding from the inevitable. Ooh, there he was! Fuck, I killed Mark again! I keep killing Mark! <laughs> He's gonna retire! Because I keep killing him. <laughs> you wrecked your car. Be a lot of bonus points of There's a small gap above the gameplay. Oh my god, what's with all these small gaps? Make it... No, what the fuck? Uh, no, not bars. Not Elgato either. Okay, you were just trying to piss me off now? There. Did that fix it? Yes, that fixed it. Beautiful. All right. Another great night of racing, ladies and gentlemen. And your winner at uh, this track, Richmond, is Kyle Petty got him again. This is Kyle Petty's third win of the playthrough. What an absolutely blessed top five, by the way. Kyle Petty, Robert Presley, Daryl Walter, Kevin LePage, Kent Schrader. Unbelievable. Bill Elliott, Brett Bodine, Bobby Labonte, John Andretti, Sterling Marlin. Wow. <laughs> Will I stream myself sleeping again? I don't have a camera in there. So, probably not. <laughs> oh boy, All-Star Open. Who cares? Skipping that. Skip. All-Star Open doesn't matter. Oh, we finished ninth. What a run. Jimmy Johnson! Jimmy Johnson! What's this team again? I forgot the name of this team. Herzog. For Herzog. Jimmy Johnson for Herzog wins the All-Star Open. Wow. Alright, anyway. Standings. Joe Nemechek continues to lead the standings. Labonte is closing. That's concerning. That is very concerning that Bobby Labonte is closing. The Burton's up here too. Kyle Petty with two wins. There's his only top twos. Top fives, I mean. One top ten. That was not a win. Wow. Yeah, it's, uh, it's getting rough. Anyway. Like Juice World or Little Peep? Okay, no. The answer is no. <laughs> As it turns out, the answer was no. <laughs> okay, Bobby Labonte on the pole. I know who I'm shooting for. I know where to aim. That's not the all. Uh, that is the Altel 92. The ex the Exedrin car wasn't until the next season, right? No, that doesn't make sense. Didn't Jimmy win in the Exedrin car? No, his rookie year was 2002, so in 2001. Okay, yeah, so it was the Altel car before Newman stole it. I'm so glad that didn't kill me just now. It was the uh, Altel car. I thought it was the Exedrin car in this game. Fuck. What if it's live tomorrow? Good. Good to know. I'm probably going to be live tomorrow as well, because it's Richmond and Tony Reigns, and I really want to do that, because Richmond is fun. So, but I will look forward to What If stream. Mm, got him. <laughs> and we killed Mark again! Poor Mark! He has no wins, and he keeps dying every race. Fuck. Unbelievable, dude. The lead changed hands a lot of times. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Mark survived. Maybe he won. 
And your winner of the 2001 Coke 600 is Wally. Career win number three for Wally gets it in a photo finish over points leader Joe Nemechek. Nice. Ward 10. Good run. Good run for Ward. Wally. It's Wally's world, and we're just living in it, honestly. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, the chase starts after tomorrow, too. You're right. Man, there's just so much going on this week. Jimmy Johnson won his way into the All-Star race, but finished 32nd at whatever race he actually did. So there we go. Yes. Yes, we have destroyed Bobby Labonte's season. Oh, my goodness. What happened? Where's Bobby? Damn, he's all the way down to 11th. One bad race, and Bobby Labonte falls to 11th in the standing. Goodness gracious. So Joe Nemechek still has the points lead for Petrie. 13.2 average finish. This is absolutely blessed top five, I gotta say. Absolutely blessed. Gotta keep signing these team members to not pay every week. See what kind of sponsorships are available. Nikon. Nikon would actually fit with the car. That's interesting. Craftsman. Put Craftsman on. There we go. Beautiful. Excellent. Excellent sponsorships right there. Cotton 4K on the hood. Thursday Night Thunder. Hell yeah. Thursday Night Thunder. That's such a good idea for actually having me stream. Like, we actually should coordinate this. Like, Thursdays. Every Thursday, all the NASCAR gaming channels should have, like, streams of some sort. Like, there could be a, like, a morning stream, a noon stream, and then, like, a 3 p.m. stream, and then my stream at 6, and then someone else can stream at, like, 9, and then after that, there can maybe be, like, a midnight stream. That's some Thursday Night Thunder if I've ever seen it. That'd be pretty sexy. There's Johnny. Don't want to kill him. <laughs> Anyone but Johnny. Gonna destroy anybody but Johnny. Unless he falls too deep in the standings and has a possibility of getting uh, replaced. Then maybe we destroy Johnny. Can I please drive the car, by the way? No, nope, we're still just... Oh boy. Oh boy. You know, Bobby Labonte ain't dead, by the way. What is this Federated Auto Parts 23? The fuck is that? All right, well, there's that. That happened. Oh, Scott Pruitt! Every single time it's Scott Pruitt! Trying to cause a cataclysmic incident on the front stretch of all these races. Well, I just killed the points leader, Joe Nemechek, so that's unfortunate. Mark is dead again! <laughs> uh, Mark keeps dying. This is tragic. Ooh, there's Dale. Oh, how are you still alive? Okay, that killed him. There we go. Are we dead finally? I'm finally dead. Wow. <laughs> oh, both Dales. Oh, my goodness. The other Dale is out too. Oh, my. Never mind. He's alive. That sucks. Fuck, dude. Mark keeps dying. <laughs> the race came down to the wire. <laughs> Wow. See, Dave Blaney somehow survived that and then went on to fucking... Let's find out how this race ended. Yeah, there's Mark dead, of course. And your winner at Dover is not Mark Martin. It is, in fact... Bought! Boris said has won at Dover in the Federated Auto Parts 23 over Dave Blaney and Dale Earnhardt. <laughs> and Dale Earnhardt Sr. finishes third. <laughs> okay, next race. Scott Pruitt fifth, by the way. <laughs> I didn't even know he was in the game and here he is winning. At Dover, sure, 
Was that his only start of the season thus far? Yes. Yes, it was his only start of the season. Third career race. Gets the win. After, yeah, Mike Skinner to the points lead after Joe Nemechek DNF. Johnny's climbing the standings. He's back in contention. Kenseth has collapsed. He's down to 11. Robert Presley has two second place finishes this season. He's sitting pretty in 13th. Haven't looked at the uh, laps led yet in a while here. Lap champion is Bobby Labonte. What a surprise that is. All right, next race. <laughs> Boris pulling an SVG. Wow. Uh, sure. I don't know what car that is. Is that... See, the Federated Auto Parts is what's throwing me off. Because the 23 is a Bill Davis number. But that, 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 in 2000... What was that car in 2000? MRN is coming to you live from... Hey, ready now. Green's coming. Wow. What an absolutely cursed, cursed reality this is. This is why we do the DNFs. This is right here is why we do the DNF streams. Alright. Turning this uh, thing around. You know I always... Turn the car around. I gotta turn this thing around. Home of Walmart. Yeah, Mark might as well just retire a year, like halfway through the season, because my man is not doing good. My man has had no luck this season. <laughs> this is like the actual 2001 for Mark Martin. Wow. Wow, indeed. Alright. Coming up into the field. Hello, friends. Got Kenny Schrader, and I destroyed both ends of the car immediately. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm gonna end up in the sixth car at this rate. Get my first career win in Texas of all places. Who did I hit? I hit Kenny Schrader. Did anyone else die from that? We'll never know, because this replay is shit. Boop. Oh, yeah, we got some more in there. But the camera angle doesn't help us out at all, so we'll never know what happened. Kevin LePage did not die, actually. He got to 50 completed laps. And your winner in Michigan is... Ward! Finally, Ward Burton has won another race. At last, his first win since the 2000 Daytona 500 comes at Michigan. Good. Good. <laughs> yeah. Ryan Newman just spun you from the lead on the last lap at, Can at, at Atlanta. Oh, yeah, you were doing NASCAR Thunder 2005, or NASCAR Chase with Cup 2005. Were you doing a 100% race or something? fucked up either way so oh what an absolutely blessed scene mike skinner joe nemechek johnny benson ward burton absolutely blessed top five i'll even include jeff burton in that i'll even include old jeffy jeff jeff jeffy jeffrey jeffrey burton a ton of burks oh my goodness gracious sean campbell Sean Campbell is the name of that dude. Okay, we're on to the next race. At Pocona. Where's Mark and points? Very low. <laughs> very low. <laughs> he is very low. Phil Collins, the man in black. Ah, uh, maybe I should rename myself to Johnny Cash. We can actually do this. There it is. Let's go. There it is. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Turning the ship around. Ooh wee, we're doing burnouts. This isn't playtime, buddy. Bruce Campbell's long lost brother. Yeah. 
That's him right there. I'm thinking about Ainsley Campbell from a uh, or uh, Test Drive, Eva Destruction, and NASCAR Dirt Today Tony. I think Ainsley Campbell is ranked number 100 on the uh, Test Drive, Eva Destruction blacklist. Okay, who's where? I don't see anyone of interest. I saw Gordon. I saw Gordon on the bottom. He's always a good target. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And Johnny Benson won the race. After I fell in the ring of fire, the ring of fire, the ring of fire. Ooh, that's Kyle Petty. Or, oh, the camera's not having a good time. Oh, that's Mark again. Thankfully, he didn't die for once. For the first time all season, he did not immediately die the second that I came within breathing distance of him. We've already lost two tires, it looks like. Nope. Nope, just one tire. Yeah, that's one positive about doing DNF career in this game, is that there's no rival meter, so that there's no uh, logo rivals every single race. Yeah, Phil Collins is too busy writing songs to be racing. That's why he keeps wrecking. He's just got his notepad in the car and he's like, Cause I can't stop. What can't I stop doing? I don't know. I don't know. I gotta come up with something. The record company's getting mad. Oh, we're in the middle of everything. No, Johnny avoided us. Everyone's avoiding us. Okay, everything's fine. Oh, that, that, he didn't avoid us. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know what happened. <laughs> All right. That's another race done. So I hit Ward head on, but he survived, I think. I'm pretty sure he survived. <laughs> oh, boy. Robert Presley did not survive from his camera angle, it looks like. All right. No, Mike Bliss didn't make it. Ricky Rudd didn't make it. And your winner with 190 lead changes at Pocono to match the 190k purse. Your winner at the Tricky Triangle, Rick Mast! Yes! Career win number two for Rick Mast. He got him. And a great run for Joni Benson. That's going to move him probably into the points lead. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. He survived. Ooh, Infineon. Okay, let's not immediately die this time so I can actually, like, go off of jumps and shit. Mike Skinner has the points lead with Johnny, 36 back. I want to take a look at who's low in points. Yeah, can you believe that Mark Martin is the lowest driver in full-time points after DNFing basically every race so far? Dale's uh, 31st. He has zero career wins still. He has two career top fives. Wow. What a drive from Dale Jr. All right. Hiring someone that's not going to get paid to do this. Going to the race. And going to the race. Very good. Freshness with a spin. Plug it in. Plug it in. Have I ever shown this picture on stream? Can you see that? You can't even see, like... The, the, so this truck is like destroyed. Have I ever told that? I've told that story on stream, but I don't know if I've ever shown the picture. You can't really see what's going on. It's just the truck is destroyed. Oh, this camera. Oh, this camera. That was not okay. Okay! Infineon time. Turn it around. You know what, the camera, I'm looking on my uh, shit here, and my camera, my face cam has gotten better as the stream has gone along. No, this, this is an iPod, like, I don't know, what generation is this? It's old. It's from 2012. I got this in 2012. Where does it say? General. About. This is... A MC five four zero LL slash A. I don't know. I don't know what that means. All I know is that it's old. 
Damn. Looking for some choke points here. Either some choke points or I want to go off the jump. Jeff Burton is the leader. There's Dale Jr. Could have destroyed him just now. Dog, and don't die. Okay. This shit's getting old. This whole, like, slightly sticking out walls, stopping me in my tracks is starting to get old. You know, um, I was thinking about, like, hoping that everyone at Daytona was gonna chant We Want Cody when, uh, The Rock did the command. But, um, in that context, they're, like, talking about probably, like, Cody aware, and it would have been pretty gross. Peekaboo! Oh, I missed everyone. Oh, I'm missing everyone. Ooh! Oh, I got Kenza. That took forever to do last time, last season. You're supposed to go the other way, buddy. You're supposed to shut the fuck up and let me drive, crew chief. When South Park started airing, Family Matters was still on. Fuck. Did I do that? Did I do that? Did I do that? Oh. I don't think we've got front tires. Yeah, Mark back to last, like always. It's just basically where he's guaranteed to be. Burton! Oh, I got him! Just, I got him just. Oh, Ricky Rodgers. Ooh, Dale. Hi, Dale. Um, ooga. Booga booga. Where's Earnhardt? There, no, that's Stewart. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, bad things are happening. Oh, man. Oh, oh, we're bouncing. We're bouncing. <laughs> Camera, you're not helping the situation. Okay, Scott Pruitt is dead. There is more death taking place. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, it's just, there's just the not good things that are happening in this corner. It really must be said. This is a, this is a bad time for basically everyone involved. <laughs> Put the hammer down. <laughs> These guys are putting the hammer down, let me tell you. They're all blowing their engines in the process, too. Well, so much for that. Dang it, Bobby. They were flying before I got there. No kidding. Oh, the sound effect for the tires is just so painful. You can't miss me twice, Jeff. <laughs> oh, he's not alive. Oh, we've got potential roadblock situation. No, they're all getting by. Hold on. <laughs> Steve Park got around it. Oh, Robert Presley did not. Oh, boy. There's Johnny Benson. I hope he doesn't die. He's backing up, getting ready to get slammed, though. Ooga. Oh, there's Earnhardt. Hello. Eh. No. No, Dale. You are not allowed to survive. Backing up. Backing up. Backing up. Backing up, actually, is what we're doing. I died from that. And Dale's still alive! Unbelievable. There's no Gilligan's Island at this version of Sonoma. Really? Yeah, this was the first year that there, there was no Gilligan's Island. This is a good camera angle, though, let me tell you. Some excitement going on. All right. Jeff Gordon died. That's good. Oh, there were many deaths. Oh, very few cars finished. Mark finished the race, but he was the last of the cars to finish. Johnny died. That sucks. And your winner at Infineon is... Tony Stewart over Rick Mast. Five minute and 28 seconds. Daryl Waltrip fifth at Sonoma in 2001. What? Oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. I really do need to take my pills at some point, though. Otherwise, I will be up all night. Alright, well, after that. How's the standings look? Mark is still the last lowest car in full season points. 
And Mike Skinner has the points lead. Johnny did not lose a whole lot of points, though, so that's good. Bobby Labonte's back in the conversation, so we got to destroy him soon. Yeah, how's Johnny's season going? Yeah, he's... <laughs> he had so few top tens last year. Oh, dear. Skinner. Oh, was that Ron Fellows? That was Ron Fellows for Nemco. What? Hey! Look at that! Th this one has Canada as the country. How come I can't be from a different country? How come I can't be from Canada in this game? But Ron Fellows can. That's fucking bullshit right there is what that is. Stop. I need to go to the race! Not team management! Go up! Go to the race! Okay. Tony Stewart did win that race IRL. Nice. Ron Fellows can. What can he do, though? You could be from Canada in NASCAR 2005. Really? I guess I've never tried. That's interesting. I've never tried to be Canadian in that game. I I, I feel like I would have known. But I didn't know that. Listen to how not hungry I am as I bitch about how hungry I am. Oh, okay. Oh, 65 viewers. What's up, chat? In the first edition of this, all the way back in 2020, when we did this on NASCAR Thunder 2004, these streams had 100 concurrent viewers for like an hour and a half. That was, that was wild. Yeah, Bobby Labonte is uh, concerning me, but thankfully he's green, and I can uh, point him out in the crowd and maybe try to assassinate him. <laughs> am I in Central or Mountain Time? I am in Mountain Time. I have been in Mountain Time my entire life. I've never lived anywhere that it was any other time zone. Although they have been talking about uh, changing to Central Time for the entire state. Okay, Bobby is there. I did not hit Bobby. I don't think I died. I think I'm still alive. No, Bobby's upside down back there, but I think he survived. Is the problem. So while but whilst Bobby is upside down, I think he survived. Well, that was a very big hit right there. They've been talking about changing the entire state of North Dakota to Central Time, and I think they put that to a vote last cycle. I don't remember when that was. It had to have been 2020, because I remember voting yes. Maybe they'll do it again this uh, cycle. Wee! Don't kill Mark again! Hello, friends. Hey, I destroyed Gordon. He was in an alternative paint scheme and everything, and I still managed to destroy them. And now I'm dead. And now I'm dead. Oof. That's absolutely oof. So much for that race. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we got Bobby in it. It's just a question of whether or not he survived. He was upside down. We'll find out here in a second. Johnny died. That sucks. And your winner of the Pepsi 400 from Daytona. I'm going to close my eyes and press the button. So uh, I have no idea who's won. All right. I'm going to go by the reaction of the chat to find out who won. I, I, I didn't look. I didn't look. Chat, was it a good winner? By 55 seconds, it looks like the winner. Spoilers. Fucking spoilers! Hey! Brett Bodine, career win number two. Comes at Daytona. Over Dave Blaney. And Bobby Labonte had a great finish. Imagine that. Imagine that. Your whale come. Alright, we're going to do that again for the next race. I have to guess who the winner is. 
based off. Yeah, that must have been a scoring error because he was 55 seconds ahead. I'm going to bet. I'm going to guess the winner of the race based on the reaction of the chat. So don't spoil it. I have to guess it myself. Okay, going to New Hampshire. Eleven years later, man gets his second career win. What's the record for longest time between two wins? Uh, that was a good yawn. Is there anyone that's racing in the Cup Series right now that could actually get it? If Derek Cope comes back again, maybe. Jimmy Johnson's probably close by now. 2017 was a long fucking time ago, dude. If he actually managed to, like, get a win of... Oh, Allmendinger 2014 Watkins Glen to 2021 Indy Road Course. That's a long one, too. That's true. Is that the longest time between two career wins? Because AJ wasn't even that young back in 2014. He was, like, what? 28, 29 around about there? That's crazy. That's wild. I'm not believing that. Where's Bobby Labonte at? That is not Bobby Labonte. That is the 87 of Ron Fellows that I just murdered. Where's Bobby Labonte at? I want to destroy him because he is boring. 2014 to 2021 is eight years. So that's a while. That's a hot minute. That is a hot New York. Oh my goodness. What was that? Everyone just took avoiding it. Okay. Gotta not look. Gotta not look. Okay. Don't spoil it, chat. I'm gonna guess who the winner is based on the chat's reaction. So let's get in. Alright. So Ron Fellows did indeed finish last. Okay. Okay, I'm not looking at the screen. Okay, let me press the button. Okay, so you know the winner and I don't. So let's see what can the chat... Get me to guess who the winner is. It's actually seven years. Well, suck a day. Jasper. Dave Blaney? Was it Dave Blaney? Jaguar. He has the same last name as a famous singer. Oh, it's Robert Presley. Did Robert Presley... Robert Presley finally got his first career win. God damn, dude. Well, there you have it. Um, how'd everyone else finish? Where's Labonte? Bobby Labonte finished pretty bad, actually. 30 seconds. Good shit. Great race. Great race all around. Great race all around, dude. Doobie doobie doo, doobie doobie doo doo. I have no idea what Robert Presley's car looks like. I never would have gotten it from that. Secondary sponsor is unhappy. Damn. All right. Skinner has a points lead again. Ooh. Oh my goodness gracious. Nemechek has died. He's down to eleven. Dale's coming up the standings, though. <laughs> Dale is climbing the standings. That's getting concerning. 16.6 average finish for Mike Skinner as we hit the halfway point of the season a while ago, actually. That was a while ago we hit the halfway point of the season. Dooby 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 doo. -doo, 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 -doo. Going to the next race at Pocono. Every Elvis album ranked. No. No, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, as it turns out, that is not what we will be doing. Oh. Welcome to Pocono Raceway. Welcome to Pocono Raceway. Joe Nemechek's on the front row alongside Bobby Labonte. I think that's the Bobby Labonte alternate paint scheme up there. Every NASCAR race rank. Every single one. Every Beatles album ranked is the easiest video to ever make because all you do is just go from a 
you start from the, you know, the bottom of the list is their earliest albums, and then the end of the list is, um, the list is basically just Sgt. Pepper at the top, and then every album from release date descending. So, Abbey Road, Magical Mystery, Revolver, in that order. That, and then just Sgt. Pepper at the top. It literally is just that easy. Oh, got his ass. And we're flying. Oh, boy, that killed me. The landing killed me. Holy shit. Okay, so we took out Bobby Labonte and died immediately. You know what? That's what I call efficiency right there. <laughs> that right there is efficiency. Destroyed Bobby Labonte and shot to the moon and immediately dead. Can we get one more look at that at that airtime? Oh my. Look at the absolute pixelation of the uh of the sky. Just look at the bit mapping. <laughs> what? No, I don't want to stand up. I want to look at who the winner of this race was. It was not Bobby Labonte, Lamau. It was in fact Joe Nemechek. Oh, the recovery. The recovery for Joe Nemechek. Gets another win over Rick Mast. Mark Martin finally has a good finish. Oh my god! 199 laps led for Joe Nemechek. Who led the other lap? No one else led any laps. No one else led any laps. He led flag to flag. Holy shit. Well, I guess I gotta fucking stand up again. What's the next track? So no one else led that. Oh, it's Brickyard. Oh, it's Brickyard time. Okay. Rick Mass. Oh my goodness. The top three in the standings are separated by one point. Back to fourth place is seven points. 25 back to fifth. 36 back to sixth. What is this? Oh my, there are 15 cars within a race of the points lead heading into the brickyard. What the ever loving fuck is this? <laughs> Shut up about the fucking pit crew. Let's go to the next race. Go to the next race. I need to do sit-ups again. Oh, I should do those, uh... Burpees, that's what I should do next. Let's, let's not do uh, sit-ups this time. Let's do fucking burpees. Then you can watch me do them. Oh. This is why the chase is meaningless. Yeah, all you need to do is just have someone fucking uh, drive, you know, backwards on the track every week. Okay, it's a front row of Johnny Benson and uh, Joe Nemechek. So I really don't want to kill them immediately. Okay, we're going to have to play this very carefully. We're going to have to play this very, very carefully. I just have to not kill the front row. That's all I got to do. And we got blood on the bricks possibilities right here. I want to go all the way to the end of the road here just so we can maximize the blood on the bricks. Okay. It's getting ready. <laughs> getting ready. <laughs> the calm before the storm. Can we get blood on the bricks? Can we get blood on the bricks? Put the hammer down, buddy. Let's roll. Oh, don't worry, crew chief. I'm about to put the hammer down. Just give me another 10 seconds. I'm so excited for blood on the bricks. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, there it is. Oh, perfect execution. Perfect execution. We got blood on the bricks. Maybe. Oh, there's not enough cars in it. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's the blood on the bricks. <sighs> I died immediately so we couldn't make it happen, but look at this roadblock. What a roadblock. I should have done it further down because they would have had more speed. But I died immediately so it didn't matter. Dale didn't make it. Rest in peace. And your winner, kissing the bricks in the 2001 Indianapolis Motor Speedway Brickyard 400 is Dave Blaney! Dave Blaney will kiss the bricks! Yes! Absolutely blessed! Dave Blaney will kiss the bricks! Absolutely beautiful. 
Fantastic. Good shit. Good shit. That right there. That right there is the goodest of shit. Watkins Glen time. Let's take a look at the standings. Buckshot Jones is last. Rick Mast is first. Brett Bodine second. Are you kidding me? Eight top tens for Brett Bodine. How many for Rick? Seven. Seven top tens for Rick Mast. Johnny's climbing the standings again. He's he's equaled his amount of top tens from last season. Wow. Wow, indeed. Next race. Boop, 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 booty, booty, boop. Next race. What happened to us guessing the race winner? That's going to take way too fucking long. If we do that, it's going to take way too fucking long. This shit's already... We've already been streaming for four hours. Can I just say we've been streaming for four hours? <laughs> and we haven't even completed season two. Next race. On the pole is... Oh, Bobby Labonte. Well, then I know who to aim for. I know exactly where I'm aiming. That's what's important. All right, spin this ship around. Let's destroy this car. Well, not well. Yeah, we the entire point of this playthrough is to destroy this car specifically, but we also want to destroy some others in the process. So let's not miss. How about? How about we don't miss? Is this going to be a 40-hour stream? I could stream for the next 40 hours. I don't have to work again until Saturday. And they can't give me any more hours because fucking uh, I'm in overtime already. Well, I will be after Saturday. Hello, friends! Ooh, got him! He's dead. Immediately, he's dead. Oh, dear. I think that was Johnny that just died. I believe that was Johnny. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, this is... This is a, no, it was uh, Jeff Burton, actually. Boy, there are some bad things happening on the exit of the bus stop. Oh, we're bouncing. <laughs> I've lost a tire. Oh, my. Last week's winner, Dave Blaney, is hopping. Stewart's out. No, he's not. Stewart's fine. Joe Nemechek is out. Bobby is still... No, that's Wally. Last week, last year's winner at Watkins Glen, Wally is... Well, actually... You know what? As it turns out, most of these guys are still alive. They're just in an absolute roadblock. They're just in an absolute roadblock of shit. Most of these cars are alive. Wow. I have not announced anything, JC. <laughs> oh, the game is lagging. Listen to that fucking crew chief. Oh, the lag. The fucking lag. Oh, I have no front tires. I'm trying to get down here because this is the fastest part of the entire track is heading into the bus stop. So I want to cause a roadblock up there, but we're not having to... We're not, not exactly making good time on that. Hello, who's the leader? Who's the leader? It was, in fact, Robert Presley. Now it's Steve Park. Oh, there goes Dale Jarrett. That's good. He was high in points. Uh, hello, friends. Oh, dear. Hello? Oh, that's Dale. I miss Dale. That's annoying. Someone just died. No, Johnny, don't hit me! No, anyone but Johnny. Oh, oh, Terry Labonte did not make it. Oh, this is a bad one. This is a bad time right here. Gary Newman is still performing? Holy fuck, isn't he like 80? Holy shit. Yeah, if I completed a lap, we'd finish really well. But unfortunately, it would take a year and a half to drive back to the other side of the track and complete a lap. So, <laughs> yeah, basically. You've wrecked your car. How is it still driving, though? Excuse me? Oh. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Blood at the Glen. No. It seems like we had a lot of lead changes. Seems like we had a lot of lead changes. That was the first one. <laughs> that was the first one right there. All right. It's a long list. A long list. Oh my. 21 cars finished. And your winner in a photo finish at Watkins Glen 
is Jeremy Mayfield with number win number two of the playthrough. Win number three of his career, I'm pretty sure. Scott Pruitt second. Scott Pruitt failed to get the win. Johnny finished sixth after I almost killed him. That's good. Very cool, very cool. All right, all right, all right. You know what? Maybe I should stream later more often because we got six. This is the most viewers we've had in a long time, and it's almost ten. So maybe I should start streaming later. But then I'd never be able to stream on Fridays because fucking waking up to go to work and shit. Wake up. Brett Bonine is the poison leader. <laughs> oh, man. Over Rick Mast. Two career wins between the both of them. Same for Johnny Benson. Then you got Dale Jarrett, 1999 champion. Bobby's still up here. Threateningly close to the points lead. Next race. Midnight on the East Coast. It is officially February 29th in the East Coast. Good shit. This is a February 29th special. I was thinking of doing a February 29th special of some sort, and I guess this technically would count. I am definitely considering doing Tony Reigns tomorrow, though, so we'll still have some content. I don't have any videos to upload this week besides the Taylor Swift video. I'm not going to do good news because I'm not happy about how anything that happened this weekend went. Like, I could make an entire video about me bitching about everything that happened in Atlanta, but we can save all that for Las Vegas, and there's not a whole lot of news to talk about anyway. This is hardly time to play chicken. Good good commentary there, uh, crew chief. Hello, friends. Oh, I'm dead. Fuck. I was literally trying to avoid that so we could go around for another lap. All right, this might not be a very random result. Who's the winner in this race? This is the kind of finish the fans love to see. It's kind of finish the fans love to see, though. I mean, I didn't get to see it. Did we get any randomization? It doesn't really look like it. Your winner in Michigan is Tony Stewart. Yeah, yeah, Joni Macek with 124 laps led, and Tony Stewart wins. With zero laps led over second in points, Brett Bodine. What? <laughs> sure, that makes a lot of sense right there. Next stupid comments video. How many do I have saved? Do I have any stupid comments saved? I have seven stupid comments saved. That is way more than I expected. I thought I'd have like two. When was... Th that was two years ago, though, wasn't it? That was a year and a half ago that we did the last one. Fuck, dude. It's such an iconic series, though. It must be said. Brett Bodine continues to lead the point standings. Because, of course, he does. Why wouldn't he? Seven top fives, ten top tens, an average finish of 16.4. Dude is having an, an, an ironic great season. And he just finished second last week. I mean... I don't know, man. Yeah, it was like September of 2022 is when we did that. It's nighttime. Bristol! It's Bristol time. Dale Jr.'s on the front row. Wow. Looks like we're taking eight. I do like to start the first lap because sometimes I feel like when we don't even start the first lap, that also is de-randomizing the results. And it also gives them extra time to be able to complete the first lap and make things interesting. So Here we indeed go. At Bristol. Bristol Motor Cheeseway. Hello. That's Dale Jr. Not dead. 
by the way. He's still alive. He is. He, he continues to just be alive. He, he's still not dead. There, now he's finally dead. That little fucking love tap got it. Oh, Chad Little's upside down. That's a shame. Anyway, um, oh, hi, Ward. Please don't be dead. I think he's dead. Fuck. Alright, well. It's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're still in it. We're still in it. We still got a shot. Still got a shot at the win. Oh, Bobby Hamilton in the McClure 4 is the leader. Oh, we'll fix as much damage as we can. I'm sure you will. Oh! Nope, wrong car. I was trying to hit Bobby Labonte and I hit Wally Dolan back again. Oh, Dale's done. Who we? Anyway, there's Bobby. Hello, friend. Did I kill him? No, no, I didn't. As a matter of fact, hang on, hang on. We're trying to, we're trying to make this happen. Hold on, hold on. Stop the, someone stop the music. We need to, we need to destroy Bobby. Stop him. Stop this man. Okay, never mind. And I'm dead from that. Are you kidding me? I died from that. I died from that. Ah! This was an exciting last lap, wasn't it? This was an exciting last lap. I bet it was. Ooh, Gordon and Earnhardt dying. That's great. Ward did not die in the end, but he did in fact finish last. And your winner of the night race at Bristol is... Mike Bliss! Eel River Racing goes to victory lane! Yes! Over Stacy Compton! <laughs> wow, what a run. What an absolute race from Eel River Racing. Opinion on Ty Cribs? Are we talking about my son? I love my son. Are you kidding me? I love my son. Who's lowest in full-time points now? Man, Mark Martin has recovered. He's all the way up to 27th in points after starting the season with like 10 straight DNFs. Now it's Kenny Wallace and Kevin LePage at the bottom of the standings, but don't worry, Brett Bodine continues to get fucking great finishes and drive off with this championship. Johnny Six. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Next race. Let's save the game first. Haven't saved the game in a while. Let's do that. Saving the game. Shaving the game. How miserable Todd must feel watching Brett suddenly get all the success. Yeah, that's true. Jeff Bodine won three races last season. Now Brett Bodine's leading the points and Todd Bodine barely even made the game. <laughs> do -do -do -do. Darlington! <laughs> it's Darlington time! Let's start the race! <sighs> I haven't been able to successfully spin anyone out since the start of this shit, dude. And I still have yet to do that. I think I still have that 92 Kodiak car somewhere. Into the corner we go. Who's the leader of the race? I'm looking for, searching for Bobby Labonte. Got him. Fucking annihilated. And I'm also annihilated. <laughs> well, I think we got him though. That's what matters. <laughs> well, that's an immense amount of death right there. You wrecked your car! Exclamation point. No shit. Not telling me anything I don't already know, game. This is not breaking news by any stretch of the imagination. Yep. Alright. So. And your winner of the Southern 500, the 2001 Southern 500, belongs to... Ward Burton! Yeah! Absolutely drop dead gorgeous result right there. That is some good stuff. I'm 100% okay with this outcome. 
Ward Burton has won the 2001 Southern 500. Oh, the final race before 9-11, that's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, no. Anything but this. Yeah, that puts Kevin LePage as the lowest full-time car now. Ooh, bad race for Brett Bodine. Drops him down to two points over Nemechek. Nemechek has just had the most bipolar season. One race he's winning, the next race he's dead. Johnny's up here. He's finally got... He's finally crested six top tens in a season. Good for him. Yeah. Skinner Earnhardt's climbing the standings. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dale wants number eight. Dale wants number eight. He's coming. <laughs> He's fucking coming. Oh, that's not good. All right, next race is Richmond. Blue Jimmy 48 fan YouTube Takuma Koga and others want to follow you on threads. No, I will not use threads. Fuck off. <laughs> I will not use threads. Nope. All right, Richmond time. Who's on the front row from Richmond? Oh, it's an all Earnhardt front row. Oh my goodness, an all Earnhardt front row. Wow. Take a picture. That's something right there is what that is. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my. Oh my goodness. See, there's Jeff Bodine. He's been a non-factor all season in the 60 car. Even though he fucking, uh... He won three times last year. Yeah, the drive for eight is still alive. Not for long, though. I got them both. <laughs> I got them both. <laughs> nice. I got them both. Fucking annihilate them. All right. And so it was that Richmond came to an end. All right. That was a good race. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Immediately he is destroyed. That is just drop dead gorgeous. Alright, well. Okay, it looks like we got randomized because we got these two leading laps. And your winner at Richmond, the last race with the twin tower still intact, is Bobby Hamlin! He got over Dale Earnhardt! What? What? But I destroyed him! Oh, no, that's going to be such a good race for him in points. Oh, he's gained so many points from this. Bobby Hamilton for Morgan McClure gets the win. But Dale Earnhardt gets second. All right. Drive for eight. The drive for eight is real. Buckshot Jones top five. <laughs> yep, Buckshot Jones top five. I saw that. Kevin LePage, lowest full-time driver. I mean, Brett's still the points leader, but we got RCR cars sitting third and fourth. Childress just finding something special here late in the season. Tony Stewart's got eight career wins. I think Stewart has the most wins of anyone so far with his five. Fucking five wins for Stewart. We haven't checked this all season. Rookie of the Year award is going to Kenny Irwin over Boris Said, despite Boris winning. Wow, okay. Poll award is Robert Presley with the most polls so far. Oh my goodness! Brett Bodine got the jackpot five, and Bobby Hamilton got the jackpot five with the win at Richmond. What? Sure. Pontiac has the Manufacturers Championship going, and Joni Machek has 515 laps led because he led all 200 laps of that one Pocono race, so it's a bit lopsided for that. That is a bit lopsided because he led all 200 laps of that fucking Pocono race. Wow. Dale's going to win the 2001 season. <laughs> yeah, there's just more evidence he would have gotten number eight. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is right there. Who's the contender that for that could like have the next eight championship run? Like, is there anyone that's going to be able to get eight championships in this shitbag format? Like... Who's even young enough to do it? Blaney, maybe. 
I don't know, they're all starting to get up there in age. Like, he'd need to win, like, five straight. Like, you have to be able to win five straight these days, because everyone retires at fucking, you know... <laughs> everyone retires at fucking age 39 now. Yeah, but this shitbag format, there's absolutely no way. No way that we get eight championships in this garbage bag. Anyway, um, throwing myself into the field is about to happen. Where's Dale? Where's- there he is! Got him! I don't know if I killed him, though. That wasn't a very straight shot. So, I don't know if I actually, uh, ended his life. He- I do not see anyone, yeah. He- he did not perish. He did not perish. Well, I hit him. Is he gonna pit for the damage? Or is he still up there? No, he's still up there. He just does not care. Dale Earnhardt is so driven to get this 8th championship that he just does not care that someone ran into him head on at the start of this race. He's just gonna march on. He's just gonna keep trucking. He's just gonna keep trucking. And I'm dead, by the way. A lot of bonus points. <laughs> well, that's that race done. Presley didn't survive. Terrible race for... Oh, terrible race for Johnny. And Bill Elliott. I'm guessing Earnhardt won this race. Yes! Finally! Mark Martin has won. In this game, Brett Bodine third. His points lead is safe. Boris said eighth. Maybe a Rookie of the Year charge for Boris said after that. Wow. Okay. Goodness gracious. How is the standings after that one? Jimmy Johnson last. Brett Budine first. Alright, well, that's a big, big advantage for uh, Brett Budine. But it could all go away in one race. Like, 8 and 11 top 10. Good season. Like, let's just drop down and take a look at Matt Kenseth. He was in the points lead at one point this season. He got 15 top 10s in his championship season, so. So that's Mark's first win of the entire playthrough. Great. I'm so happy about this. Now he won't fucking automatic. Oh, Dale Jr.'s back in the retirement zone again. Yes, Chad Little, after his three-win season, has done horribly this year. Michael Waltrip's back here as well. He got a pole at some point. Wow. Okay, next race. What's the worst average finish from a Cup Series champion in NASCAR's history? Ryan Blaney, 2023. That's not even a lie, by the way. <laughs> it's not even a lie, by the way. Doodly doodly do. Next race. Yeah, reports are that Phil Collins listens to I Don't Care Anymore as he drives around the track. Very true. Well, you can tell everyone I'm a known disgrace. Drag my name all over the place. I don't care anymore. You can tell everybody about a state I'm in. You won't catch me crying because you just can't win. I don't care anymore. Wow. I don't care anymore, Jill. I don't care what you say. I don't play the same. You play. Cause I remember all the times I tried so hard and you left in my face cause you hear me don't, don't care anymore. Yeah, that was fucked up. I just hit, like, a stray pixel. Like, that had to have been a singular pixel that I fucking hit in order to get into that situation. Like, there is no reason. Oh, uh, That's not Dale Jr., fuck. That is, in fact, Brett Bodine, who I hope is still alive. I think he's still alive. That's your points leader. Points leader. Uh, That's Jeff. J J Johnny and John Andretti. J J oh boy. 
I'm still alive. It really must be said that I am still alive after all this. There's Dale Jr. Fucking of course. Don't hit me, Brett. You need to survive. Can we get an easy lover cover? Fucking A right. She'll get a hold on you, believe it. Like no other. Before you know it, you'll be on your knees. She's an easy lover. She'll take your heart, but you won't feel it. She's like no other. And I'm trying to make you see. She's the kind of girl you dream of. Dream of keeping hold of. Dale's not dead, by the way. He's still alive as he sits upside down. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. What are we even doing at this point, honestly? I still haven't blown the engine, by the way. Look at this. He's still alive. Oh. So am I, for that matter. Oh, no. No, we have lost Dale. This has to be the most difficult announcement that I've ever had to make personally. But following the events of the MBNA 400 from Dover, we have lost Dale Earnhardt. Oh, Ward, no! No, Ward! He is leading. No, he's fine, he's fine, everything's fine, he's fine, he's going, it's fine, everything's fine. Ward was leading the race, and now he continues to lead. <laughs> oh, I finally destroyed the car. Very good. The OG lead singer of Three Days Grace. What? Excuse me, what did he cover? Did he cover Easy Lover? I'm, I, I, I still have to continue driving. Okay, never mind. I could have hit the brakes at any time. Okay. Oh, Samba was a senior fan. <laughs> You're the one who wants to hold her. Oh, yeah. there were a lot of cars out there. Hold her and control her. You better forget it. The 83 car. Don't ever get it. No, no, try and change her. Just leave her. Leave her. You're not the only one seeing his... Oh, Rick Mass went for a tumble. Rick Mass went for a ride, and you seen that? You seen that? Fucking Ricky Rudd bounding over the top of me. If the fucking camera angle would show it. Watch this. Watch Ricky Rudd just clear me. Look at this. Graceful. Didn't touch the car once. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, um, this race happened... Johnny finished horribly. That's not good. And your winner at Dover is... Bill Elliott! Awesome Bill! Does it over Dave Blaney and Mike Bliss. What an outcome for this race. And Dale Jr. finished terribly despite surviving. One out. How about that? How about that? You sing some Nirvana? I'll think about that. Yes! Into another put Seamless on Spotify. Fucking round of applause for that one. That was one of the... I was so happy when I saw that. I was like, holy shit, let's go. Let's actually go. Boris set up to 43rd in points. Chad Little's still doing terrible, though. Brett has a 7-point lead over Skinner, and now Gibbs is starting to get a bit concerning. That was Bill Elliott's 42nd win right there. Coming back strong, just like he actually did in 2001, right? Do the Taylor Swift Taylor's version. <laughs> no. I will not do that. Hire some dumb bitch. Cedric Miller was that guy's name. Okay, race weekend. Yeah. I was thinking, there was American Idol auditions happening in Rapid City the first year that I was at Spearfish for college. And I was unironically thinking about going down and going to audition for that. But I didn't, because I'm a bitch. Welcome hey, it's Martinsville. Let's cause some calamity. It's calamity time! Alright. Turning the car around. Doing a bad job of turning the car around. Dale! Fucking bitch! Oh, I 
think I've caused a roadblock. Oh, there are some deaths taking place. Jerry Nadu has left the building. Hi, Bill. Oh, please, go away, Bill. You are not the one I'm trying to kill. Kill Bill. Eh. Oh, that's Elliot Sadler in the lead of this race. Over Daryl Waltrip and Robert Bressling. That's just happening. That's just a thing that is happening at this point in the race. Oh, boy. Oh, they're bouncing behind us. Boy, there are some terrible things transpiring in the... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oof. Shut up, Travis. I will ban you. I will ban you. That is unironic. I will ban you from this chat if you continue. There's a bunch of different leaders. Uh, I want to see what was happening when this race came to an end because there was some bad stuff happening. Yeah. Yeah, oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, oh no, oh Skinner. Skinner's in it. <laughs> Alright, well. Nadu didn't make it, Rusty, Jarrett didn't make it, oh, Bill died, Skinner died, that's gonna kill them in points. And your winner in Martinsville, Matt Kenseth, back in victory lane for the third time. Ron Fellows, third! Daryl Walcher, fourth. Dale Jr. finished 18th, but he should still be in the basement, so that's not too concerning. Where did Chad Little finish? Did he do good? Is Chad Little going to have one good finish this season? It looks like, yes, he did. Sixth. P6 for Chad Little. He finished ahead of Earnhardt. That's what matters. God, yeah, fuck that song. Actually, fuck most of Taylor Swift's music, as a matter of fact. I have negative $919,000. This is like the Ron Devine simulator. Brett Bodine continues to lead the points. He's led the points for so long, but Stewart's closing. Stewart wants a championship, and Skinner didn't actually lose that much despite dying, which is interesting. Next race is Lowe's. Let's go to Lowe's. The lowest of Lowe's. All right, signing new team members that will quit immediately because I have no money. Next race! More debt than the national debt of America, yeah. Well, if you go long enough, you probably could end up at like $10 million in debt. This is only two seasons. We haven't even completed season two. And we're sitting here on negative $919,000. Yeah, I have to just, I have to take out... Bobby Labonte, I have to take out Stewart, I have to take out basically everyone. Except for this front row. Oh, Johnny. Dale's trying to hide behind Johnny, I've seen that. Alright, Texas. No, Lowe's, sorry. Only one race for Texas this early in the uh, schedule. Yep, happy leap year day indeed. This is not the leap year special, but it should be. Tomorrow, well, today, technically, I do plan on streaming Tony Rings, so we'll have a special leap day thing. Hello? No. That was Dale Jr. I could have just broke to the left there and took out Earnhardt. I'm still trying to retire the 8 car after everything here. I'm aiming for a red car. There he is. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, we're flying. Oh, wow. Absolutely perfect execution. Look at that. Just like that, we're going the right direction again. Course correction, ladies and gentlemen. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Dale didn't make it. Good. That's a good thing. Now I need to keep a watch out for Stewart, Bobby Labonte, etc. Oh, almost got him. Now it's just so dangerous to get up there because there's so many good cars up there in that lead pack. It's just such a dangerous move. Stewart, anywhere? Anyone see Stewart? That is in fact Matt Kenseth. And that is in fact Matt Kenseth no longer being alive. Oh, the sounds are fucking not having a good time. Big death in this corner. Oh, Rick Mask is out. That sucks. 
We have lost Rick Mast. That's annoying. Where's Dale at? Oh, he's hiding. The fucking coward is hiding. Hello, friends. Stewart in here anywhere? Nope, that was in fact Brett Bodine, the last person on the track that I wanted to destroy. Oh boy, oh, Mark's dead again. Or not. Maybe he's still alive. I know I'm on fire on both ends, but maybe Mark is still alive. Nope. It's not looking good for Mark. <laughs> but you never know. You never know. What an exciting, what an exciting finish. <laughs> Look at how I just missed Dale. And immediately just... Yeah, oh my goodness, I took out Brett Bodine twice in this race. Holy shit. God damn. Where'd he finish? No, he, he, he didn't finish last. Your winner in this race is... Mike Skinner. Ooh, that's a big win for Mike Skinner. Michael Waltrip, second. Dave Blaney, sixth. Carl Long in ninth. Oh, Brett finished 13th. He dodged two potential deaths and he finishes back in 13th as a result unbelievable what a shame dude judge a life that you can't change i'm getting some more fucking girl scout cookies i don't even care at this point Sorry, I probably could have at least started the left race loading before I went and did that, but... Mm -mm -mm. Nummy. How's the standings look? Hello? Oh my fucking god, fucking bitch ass Duolingo being a fucking cunt. Okay. Bodine still has the points lead, but the Gibbs cars are coming. Johnny's up to fifth! With his eight top tens. That's big. Yeah, great. I need an Amazon store. Hmm. Aim for Stewart. At Talladega. These are good. Not as good as the s'mores, though. I already ate the entire bag of s'mores that I got. I hope my boss still has some. She usually buys like 20 boxes because she's rich. There's Anthony. Okay, he's in the back. You want to hear me chew? Mmm. Sounds good, doesn't it? I bet you want some. Well, too fucking bad. I can't put it through the internet to give it to you. I would if I could, because I don't want to eat all these myself, because I'm already fat enough today as it is. NASCAR officials are a little angry at <laughs> Nobody liked the ASMR eating? <laughs> <laughs> We lost five viewers. We were at 60, uh, 68 viewers. Now we're down to 63. <laughs> we have lost viewers as a result. Oh, I got Dale. I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't even going to aim for Dale in this race. And yet, and yet, I still took his ass out. Oh, we might head down pit road. Never mind. Oh, hi, Dale. Not having such a good uh, race either yourself, huh? We must stop meeting like this. We really must stop meeting like this. <laughs> Finish. You know, you've seen it a very close finish. Dale survived. He probably just won. Skinner goes back to back. Oh shit. Skinner just went back to back. That's huge. Oh, Dale Jr. ninth. Son of a bitch. How did he survive and I didn't? That is ridiculous. 
It's too hot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, standings. That should give Skinner the points lead. It did. All right, well, it's a two-man race right now, which is what we're hoping to keep it at. I want to keep it fair between Skinner and Bodine. As far as lowest in points is concerned, Stacy Compton is now the lowest full-time driver in points. Earnhardt's gained a bunch of, bunch of points from that last race. Okay. North Carolina Rockingham Motor Speedway. Automike's known as The Rock. There was this video that I've wanted to do since like 2018 called Shitting In Your Ear ASMR. And I was going to do like a really like, I was going to have a really raunchy voice. I was going to be like. Hey there, baby. I'm glad I finally get to see you again. I know you've been ready for this. I know you've been waiting. I've been eating nothing but Mexican all week. I know you've been waiting for this. Oh, you like that? Oh yeah, there you go. Take it. Take it all. Four viewers. There has to be at least one person who's somewhat into that. See, that's what I mean. It's ASMR. You need to put on high quality, like, beats, headphones on, and you have the high quality microphone, and it literally sounds like it's shitting in your ear. That's the. I've been wanting to do that ever since 2018. Anyway, Sterling Marlin didn't make it. Chad Little had another terrible race. And your winner at Rockingham is Scott Pruitt, finally! He finally got one! Scott Pruitt over Ricky Ruddy finally got one in a great run for Brett Bodine. That should get him the points lead back. Where's Skinner? Oh, and a good run for Skinner, too. Oh, they're keeping it tight up front in the points standings. Johnny had a terrible run, but that's, that's fine. He's probably out of it at this point anyway. What a bad day to have yours. You declared earlier that if you become rich off DraftKings, you would pay off my college loans. Why? Oh, we got exactly negative one million dollars now. Why would you do that? It's such a waste of fucking money. I would at least, like, buy your dream house first. Barbie dream house. Andy Houston got a start. He's got two whole starts this playthrough so far. Oh, Skinner's still in the points lead. By nine. Oh my goodness, it's going to come down to the wire, man. We got, what, three races left? Yes, we do. What a championship fight between Mike Skinner and Brett Bodine. See, my goal was to just become big off YouTube money and pay for college that way, but then I never got big. <laughs> then I never got big. We lost more viewers from me chewing on the Girl Scout cookie than I did with the shitting in your ear ASMR. But I will say, we've been bleeding viewers. More ASMR. No. Joe Moore and Barney Hall. 
All right, that's a front row of John Andretti and Jeff Bodine. I'm still going to aim for the uh, Gibbs cars because they are concerningly close. Jeopardy, of all things, ruined the game show called Death. Interesting. What happened to that shopping spree show? NASCAR is telling me to turn around. Well, I'm going to tell NASCAR that I don't care. I do what I want. Whatever, I do what I want. There he is! Oh, I got them both! Yes! Fucking perfect, but they didn't die! They didn't explode! Oh, we got Stewart. We got Stewart. Okay. We got Ricky Rudd as well. That was a ca friendly fire. Fucking uh, collateral damage right there. Bobby, you are you're not you're not you're not making it out of this race, Bobby. I'm sorry. Uh just keep hitting him. He'll give up eventually. Oh, we'll, or we could push him into the traffic. That's also an option. Push him into traffic. If we get there in time. Bobby. Dang it, Bobby. Come on. Alright, well this is officially happening. We are now making out with Bobby Lavani in turn four at Phoenix. But this should be where right here. This should be it. This should be it. Right here. Come on. Hit him! Hit him, you cowards! Oh, there we go. That's it. That's it right there. Hell yeah, dude. I, I doubt he's dead. But he should be a lap down, which is what I care about. What am I doing out here? Well, it's very interesting you should ask that. What we're doing right here is driving the track backwards in order to cause the car to DNF which will shuffle the results of the race and lead to insane outcomes. That was Bill Elliott, not Dale Jr. Where is Dale Jr. at? I'm still alive, by the way. Okay. Oh, 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 there's Dale Jr. Hey, we got him! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ow! Ah. Someone stop the madness! Please. Bill Elliott is still alive, by the way, after that nonsense. The, oh, okay. I'm just trying to blow the engine at this point, but I can't even get this shit to fucking... The 33 car, that's that's uh, Joe Nemechek. He's, he was in the points championship conversation earlier this season, but now he ain't. Oh, there's... No, that's not Bill or Bobby. Okay, I am... Are we dead yet? We are not dead. How are we not dead? Hi, Steve Park. Oh. So much smoke, I can't see what's going on. Okay, we have not lost a single tire yet, it looks like. Oh, that's Mark Martin. Oh, oh. Oh, we... No, that's fucking Wally Dolan back again. Save your tires. Save your tires. Yep, that's, what, that's what's important right now, is saving tires. You gonna turn some laps or not? Eh. Oh, hi, Michael Waltrip. We are just... We are just not... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, Michael's done. Oh, there's Johnny. I don't think that killed him, though, so that's good. Oh, my goodness. There are many bad things that have happened in this race. Wow. Many deaths up. There's Joni Machek upside down. Up, oh, another car's upside down behind us. That's John Andretti. Well... Wow, that was a violent race. That was probably the most violent race that we've done so far. <laughs> when will the car die? Now, apparently. Alright, we should get some good replays. Oh, yeah, you can see the chaos and confusion taking place in the background. What are these camera angles, dude? Yeah, did some damage to the car, you're telling me. What are these camera angles? How are we supposed to be able to see anything from this? Bro. Oh, I'm sure you enjoyed that, the MRN. All right, so Gibbs finishes last. That's huge. Dale Jr.'s out. That's always good. But the winner of the Phoenix race is Scott Pruitt again. He got him again. How? How, motherfucker, how? He's done nothing this entire playthrough, and now he's got back-to-back -back win. What a legend. Oh my goodness. What a 
fucking race, and I didn't see, I didn't see uh, Skinner or Bodine on that list. So we got two races to go in 2001. Can I make a series of streams where I try to lose all the depth? That's, mm, I mean, it would take probably like a good three seasons. Because we're not going to be able to get any upgrades. Look at that. Look at that. What the fuck? All right. Skinner over Bodine by 33. Joe Nemechek is a full race back. So is Dale Earnhardt. I think Dale Earnhardt mathematically cannot win this championship. Sadly, that also means Johnny Benson can't. But at least he's up here high in the standings. He finished where? Ninth in the standings last season. So, All right, next race. Well, in that case, it's just going to be a straight-out slugging match. Did you see that? Paul Walker was on my team. I saw that. I saw that. His name was Paul Walker. I, I know what I saw. Can I just do IRL streams and be the ice Poseidon of North Dakota, but a good person? That seems like a lot of work, honestly. I wanted to do a live uh, going to Walmart and buying a lamp. But that never happened. All right. Dale Jr. on the outside. Perfect. I just want to. I just want to try and make sure to not destroy Brett Bodine and Mike Skinner. That's really my biggest concern at this point. Is just not destroying Mike Skinner and Brett Bodine. Another sleep stream. Now that's an interesting idea. Uh oh. Where is Earnhardt? I just destroyed Mark and we're flying. Oh, what a smooth landing though. I'm pretty sure. Oh, Mark's still alive, it looks like. Hey, Mark survived. Alright. <laughs> okay, well. Okay, that should open it up to maybe find Dale Jr. Spread out the field a little bit. Find that eight car. Where is he? He is there. I did not miss. I got both Dales on that. Nice. Did they both die? That was Brett Bodine that I just saw scooting by there. Some of the leaders are coming in together. Okay. I'm still alive. Ow. I think everyone survived that. Interesting. Anyway. So now the question is, did the Dales survive? And where are they? Is, is, hello? I'm just looking for a red car. Okay, that Dale survived. And that's Brett Bodine that I just took out. Hopefully he doesn't die. Where is... Was that Dale? Oh my goodness. There's just not a whole lot of good stuff happening right now. Oh, that's me getting hit some more. Alright. Me and What If sleep stream in the same bed. Oh, there's Dale. There he is coming out of the pit lane. No, that's not allowed. You need to be out. There we go. Alright. Okay, that's all I wanted to do was make sure that he finished last. Now that, now anything happening is fine. Okay, we just killed Johnny. Oh. How am I still alive, by the way? Ooh, okay, that's Wally Dolan back dying again. He's just basically died every race that he hasn't won. Yep, there's Johnny still dead. Hello, friends. Oh, that was Labani. Uh, taking him out would have been good. Hello? Oh, that's Earnhardt. That would have been taking him out. Would have been good. But instead, we take out Joe Nemechek. Joe Nemechek. Out of everyone that we could have taken out, it was Joe Nemechek. Oh. Oh, that was Mike Skinner. All right. Well, I've hit Mike Skinner and uh, Brett Bodine at this point. So that's interesting. Number one is gaining on you. 
How am I not dead? Come on, car. The car refuses to die. Man, oh, that's Ward Burton that I just destroyed. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna run it into a wall and hope that kills it. It's still not dead. Really must be said, it's still not dead. Alright, well that didn't work. How do I destroy this car? Oh my goodness, dude. How do I destroy this car? I am actively trying to destroy this car at this point, and it's not happening. Ugh. I have killed so many people in this race, and yet I can't kill myself. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! Please! <laughs> Everything's still lagging. Oh my god, my fucking watch wants me to stand up again. I finally died. I think it didn't count the last standing up either, which is the most annoying part. Yeah, it didn't even count the previous fucking standing up. Stupid goddamn watch. Alright, that race took forever. And the winner. What the fuck? How come Johnny's last? How did Earnhardt finish 265 laps? I destroyed him twice. Brett Bodine, 35th. That's Mike Skinner's championship right there. Mark wins over Jeff Bodine, which is unfortunate, but Mark winning is not a bad thing. Oh, we got the most laps led, too. Fucking A right. All right. Interesting. Okay. Beautiful. All right. That's that. Whew. Okay. Pretty durable for a million dollar in debt car. Yeah, it's true. All right, well, what does that leave us? I think that leaves us with a big Mike Skinner points lead. Yeah. It's going to take a lot for Brett to close in. This might be Mike Skinner's career season right here. Three wins, 13 top 10s versus Bodine's 12 top 10s. Joe Nemechek fought valiantly, but he is out officially. After that, I'm not going to save. Let's just go to the race. There we go. Next race. Ice, ice, baby. Wow, this has been an interesting stream. It must be said. There have been many things that have happened. There have been many things that have transpired. But it's time for the final race of 2001. On the front row is... Jeff Bodine and Sterling Marlin. I just need to aim for Dale Jr. Just to make sure that he finishes horribly. There he is in the back. Because I want to force him into retirement. I don't know if that's going to happen though. Due to the fact that this universe is so insane. Didn't Skinner win a championship in the Thunder 2004 universe? He did! Good memory! He won the 2004 championship, I want to say. I think it was after Johnny. Oh, I missed. And I'm dead. Fuck. I missed. That was some bad aim, honestly. Honestly, pretty bad aim. That is that race done. Well, at least we got through it fast. Get to the end of the season. Did I even touch him? No, I didn't even touch him. Fuck. And your winner at Atlanta is... Rick Mass gets himself another dub to close out 2001. How good did Dale Jr. do? Hopefully he did not get a good finish. He did pretty decent. Okay, Brett Bodine 15th. Where's Mike Skinner? He finished 5th. Mike Skinner has won the 2001 championship. Congratulations, the only multi-game champion for this game mode. Mike Skinner did it in 2004, and he did it in 2000. So there you have it. By a massive margin, 
He gets the win with three wins, nine top fives, 14 top tens, and an average finish of 16.3. He gets it over Brett Bodine, who fought valiantly, got his first win in 11 years, and managed to finish second. Stewart had another two wins. Another two wins for Nemechek, another win for Jarrett. Dale got his 76th. Jeremy Mayfield got another win. Rick Mass got two, up to eighth in points. Another win for Johnny gets him ninth. And Sterling Marlin rounds out the top ten with zero top fives on the season. Very interesting. There's your uh, full field rundown. Let's run down to the bottom of the barrel here. And yeah, Earnhardt's in the retirement zone, but I don't know if he will retire or not. I'm going to go with probably not. But yeah, let's take a look at the uh, awards. Rookie of the Year goes to Boris Said, who won at Dover. Pole Award, six poles for Jeff Bodine. Mike Skinner got the Talladega Jackpot 5. Ford is the Manufactured Champion. And Joe Nemechek led the most laps on the season with Brett Bodine coming in second. So let's take a look at the full season schedule. We started off 2001 with Johnny Benson taking the Daytona 500 win. Then your zero-win champion, Matt Kenseth, taking two victories back-to-back. -back. Joe Nemechek got his second career win in the uh, Atlanta. Dale Earnhardt got his 76th and his second win at, straight at Darlington. Jail Jarrett at Bristol. Bill Elliott, Texas. Kyle Petty got the win at Martinsville. And then Mike Skinner got his first win of his championship season at Talladega. California went to Steve Park. Kyle Petty won Richmond. Jimmy Johnson won the All-Star Open. Wally got himself the Coke 600. Boris said, won at Dover. And Ward Burton got another win at Michigan. Rick Mass got a win at Pocono. Stewart took Infineon. Brett Bodine got his first win in 11 years at the Pepsi 400. Robert Presley won at New Hampshire. Another win for Nemechek at Pocono. Dave Blaney kissed the bricks at Indianapolis. Jeremy Mayfield got the Watkins Glen win. Stewart won in Michigan. Mike Bliss won at Bristol. Wait, did he? Yeah, he did win. Okay, I'm sorry. I completely forgot. Another uh, Darlington win for uh, Ward Burton in the Southern 500. Bobby Hamilton got the win at Mr. Richmond. New Hampshire went to Mark Martin. Another win for Bill Elliott at Dover. Kenseth got his third win of the season at Martinsville. Mike Skinner got his second at Lowe's and then went back-to-back -back at Talladega. Then, fucking Scott Pruitt went back-to-back -back at North Carolina and Phoenix after doing nothing the entire playthrough so far. Mark got another win at Homestead, and Rick Mast finished us off at Atlanta for the final race of the season. And that is how the cookie crumbled in 2001. And now it's time to... Now it's time to save scum the offseason. So we got Todd Bodine being replaced by Andy Kirby. That's a choice. Buckshot Jones retiring with no replacement. So that's pretty shit if you ask me. Let's try that again. Let's try that one again. Alright, let's try that again. Derek Cope retiring after winning last year. Bobby Hillen going to the 46 for Haas Carter. And Tim Fiedua in the double zero. Why isn't anyone retiring like normally here? Why aren't there just... Why aren't... Why isn't Dale retiring? He, I thought he was guaranteed to retire after season one. No, we just got Adam Petty going to the 46. One number off. One fucking number off. This is shit. This is some bullshit right here. We could be here for the rest of the stream just doing this until something interesting happens. Stacy Compton retiring is interesting. Scott Wimmer going to the double zero is interesting. But once again, this is stupid. Yeah, these retirements suck. Honestly, they just suck. There's too many uh, part-time old guys. Fuck off with this garbage. Why is Buckshot Jones retiring? What? Okay, well, we'll never know what the standings are because it's a new season. Oh, wait, never mind. I just have to leave. And then come back. And then we'll know what it is. What it do, what it do. Okay. 
Standings! What's the bottom of the standings look like? Andy Houston's at the bottom of the standings. Yeah, Buckshot's down here, but he's not even old. Dude's 30... 32 years old, and he's retiring constantly. Casey Atwood is down here for some reason, too. The 19 car being part-time for some inexplicable reason. Everham 19 being part-time. That just doesn't make any fucking sense. That doesn't make no fucking sense! I saw Todd Bodine on the track one time so far. Kevin Grubb to the 46. I, I want to see three retirements and three replacements. And I also want to see Dale Earnhardt retiring, and I want to see Dale Earnhardt Jr. retiring. That's all my requirements. There it is. That's my requirements. Okay, Jason Schuler to the 15. Sure. I'd rather Derek Cope never retire and have him just randomly have a shot at a winning race every once in a while. Do a rain dance? I mean... I don't want to do that because it's cold and rain would mean snow and snow is garbage. Boy, this sucks. Yeah, we need better, uh, we need a better silly season in this mod, but I don't know if there's any way to force that into happening. Phil Parsons and Mike Dillon. Sure, yeah. How about fuck off? This is garbage. This is garbage. Should I do some more shitting in your ear ASMR while we wait for this? Okay, here's them all just retiring. Which would get rid of the 9 car, double zero, and 46. But that's lame. I would rather someone replace them. And it, someone being someone interesting. Doopy 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 doopy. Anthony Lazaro to the 15. Mike McLaughlin to the double zero. I don't want to lose Derek Cope. <laughs> Dale Sr. literally refuses to go to IMSA. He knows he can do it. He had such a good season there at the last season. He marched his way up the standings, man. He knows he can do it. Hermie Sadler to the double zero. He knows he can do it. He's got another year in him. He's got another year in him. This sucks. Yeah, we haven't seen Jeff Green at all yet. And we still haven't because they keep giving us shit fucking silly seasons. Uh, Derek Cope replaced Rusty Wallace in the two. Wow. Okay, we got three retirements. Jeff Purvis to the double zero and Boris said to the nine. Okay. You know what? This is, I'm going to take this universe because Boris said, winning Dover, he deserves to go to Melling. This is the universe that we're going with. So we've lost Buckshot Jones and gained Jeff Purvis. We've lost Todd Bodine and gained nothing. And we've lost Stacy Compton who won last year. And we have gained Boris said as a replacement. Okay, we're going to keep that. We're going to keep that. And we're going to call it a day. All right, it's getting late. We've been streaming for five hours. Uh, I'm going to call it a night here. Be on the lookout tomorrow for NASCAR Thunder 2004 100% race length season. It's Tony Raines on Legend Difficulty. And yeah. So, thanks for watching. This has been a good stream. Hope everyone enjoyed the absolute nonsense of this. But we, I will probably pick this up again some other time. Um, and we will continue the madness later on. But for now... This has been Comcast Games, and I will see you in whatever it is that we do next. But first, we got to do the Super Chat. So four hours ago was the last Super Chat. Larry gave me five for getting a foot-long cookie. I will consider my options on that one. Adam Peel gave me seven for Taco John's and Little Caesars for the unbearable Taylor Swift project. Um, we also had Newfound Power 92 giving me five because he's playing in the background while playing Chase for the Cup. That's awesome. And then there's Jordan Clark tipping $3. Who's going to replace Dale Earnhardt? We don't know. We don't fucking know. It hasn't happened yet. We're waiting. And also, Brayden Taylor was a member for 12 months. And he now has the Toby McGuire badge. Very good. You'll love to see it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you whatever it is that we do next. Which is going to be a stream tomorrow, probably. But you never know. Some crazy shit could happen. And I could die tomorrow. You never know. 
you never know when your next day could be your last. So take everything for what it's worth every single day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello, YouTube. My name is Bernie Sanders, and I want to personally thank you for tuning into tonight's stream on the Cover Coffee Games channel. But you all know why I'm here. Yes, that's right. I am once again asking for your financial support. As you are very well aware, there are no exterior sponsorships, including ones from the top one-tenth of one percent, on the Comic Coffee Games channel. All profits are made entirely from viewers such as yourself. In the chat of every video, which would be on this side of the screen, you can send super chats to Comic Coffee Games, should you please. Also, in the com in the description of every video, there is a link to Streamlabs, where you can send direct contributions to the Kalakazi Games channel without giving YouTube a cut. There's also other options, such as YouTube memberships, which give you many benefits, including, but not limited to, emoji that you can use once again in the chat on this side of the screen. But if that's not enough for you viewers, I understand in this growing and changing world, there may be other ways that you would like to contribute to the Comic Coffee Games channel, and that is where I send you over to the Comic Coffee Games Spring Store, which is also in the description of every video and has a page on the Comic Coffee Games YouTube channel in the when you select the videos. So at the Comic Coffee Games Spring Store, you can find many amazing products, such as the normal stuff that you would find in a spring store, like the official Comic Coffee Games t-shirt. Do you appreciate the graphic design of Comic Coffee Games? Well, you can get yourself a shirt that shows your support for the channel. But I know that clothing is not is usually expensive, and there may be other ways that you would like to contribute to the channel. Well, on the spring store, there are many, many amazing products, such as this mug. Do you drink coffee? Do you drink anything? Do you drink water? You can drink water out of this Comic Coffee Games mug. And if that's not enough, everyone has to go to sleep every night. You will spend one third of your entire life in bed. Why don't you go to bed with Kamikaze Games? Do you want to sleep with Kamikaze Games? Well, now you can with the official Kamikaze Games pillow. Very good. Very good stuff. You can find all of these amazing products in the Kamikaze Games spring store in the description of every video. But if that's not enough, ladies and gentlemen of the audience, I have given you plenty of options to send your financial support to Kamikaze Games directly. But if none of this is something that you enjoy, if you don't wear clothing, if you don't drink coffee, if you don't sleep, I bet you listen to music. Did you know that Kamikaze Games is a recording artist with two, count them two, albums for sale on his eBay store? On the left you see his original gas station CD. Admittedly, by Kamikaze Games himself, it's not a very good album, so, you know, maybe not pick that one. But the one to the right is his follow-up album, Take Me Home. With, with This one is better. It's you know, half the album is really good. And Kamikaze promises that in the future, his music will, he will eventually release an album that is good from start to finish. But for the most part, Take Me Home is good at least 50% of the time. All of these options are available to you, the viewer. Once again, thank you for tuning into today's stream, and we will see you in the next one. I have been Bernie Sanders, and I hope you have a good night. Thank you.